Shalom, 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 Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming back once again to prophesy the downfall of this place known as America, aka Babylon the Great. Before we get started with our street teaching, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Double honors to our apostles and to our elders. The great millstone that we have taught us the truth. Who are the true leaders of Israel today? And also peace, love, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right, Shalom. Shalom, 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 man. You know, hey man, we back out here once again. Been in season and out of season. All right, right. you know. Now we got, you know, saying, the latest bug out. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, hey, like how about your mouth? I said, man, these niggas gonna whack. As, as we get close to our big bro, your house shot returning. Hey man, these niggas gonna be waxing worse and worse, man. All right. Now the latest guy, all right. The latest, the latest nigga. Nah, say it like that. The latest nigga. All right. A nigga named what? Justin? What? Francis? All right. You know what I'm saying? He's along with. Uh, I think he the understudy of goddamn vocab Malone, fathead vocab Malone. Right. In the words of Elder Apostle Gabar, fathead vocab Malone and whatnot. This guy, he made one of the dumbest statements ever. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, since I've been in the truth, hey, El Paso Bar said the same thing, man. He said that was the dumbest statement he ever heard since he been in the truth. Yeah. El Paso Bar been in the truth 30 plus years, man. Right? Like, he came to the 1990s, but 2022, 32 years, man. That was a dumb statement. And you know, uh, what the nigga named Justin Francis, man? Hey, man, you trying to, you, you, like, you like the number one contender for the bug out crown for 2022, bro. Right. You about to surpass about Blackfish, man. Yeah, this clown right here talking about, he made a statement out of his mouth and said that, you know what I'm saying, he's not a, you know what I'm saying, he said being a Hebrew Israelite is a downgrade, man. Right. He said he's heir with with Jesus. I'm heir with Jesus. I'm heir with Jesus in Christ. That's what he said. That was the comment that he made, man. Not, he, this dummy don't even understand the scriptures. He don't even know his nationality. He don't know that Yahweh Shema Shah is only dealing with the Hebrew Israelite, dealing with Israel, and, and only the elect and that man of the nation of Israel, man. All right. But uh, without further ado, no more talking. Let the scriptures talk. All right. This is Romans chapter three, verse one. What advantage then have the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Jew, Jew right? The word the Jew go it derived from what? Judah, man. That's right. All right. Yahweh, right? Did, 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 did this nigga, damn Mr. Francis, he don't even know that Yahweh Shemal Shah put his name on Israel, man. All right. You know. Hey, it ain't no, it, you know what I'm saying, when Yahweh Shema Shah said he gonna raise up the elect out of the nation of Israel, starting with 144,000. Hey, the word Christian ain't even mentioned, man. And right. besides, the real Christians are the, the elect any dog going right, with. Right. So he don't even know where the word Christians even der derive from anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that right there was a generic term that was placed upon the followers of, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah, man. Mashiach, man. Okay? They were making mock. They were making mock. All right, but he don't know that though, man. Let his madness right here. Yeah, yeah, but that clown, that clown don't even know that, man. All right, you know, because at the, because at the end of the day or whatnot, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all watch my ain't dealing with these guys, man. He ain't dealing with this guy. He ain't dealing with no vocab alone. He ain't dealing with no Christianity, man. Right? Y'all watch my shot dealing with the Hebrew Israelites, man. Right. Okay, at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Right? Go ahead, brother. Can not let the scripture speak, man? God, nah, don't keep on. Uh, you can start it back up top, Romans 3 and 1 once again. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. What advantage then have the Jew? It says, what advantage? All right, you know, because Yahweh Shema Shah ain't chose every damn body, contrary to popular belief, man. All right, now what the world teach you, and why the world will teach you that, because who's in rulership? All right, Esau. Somebody give me Job 9 and 24 before I even go on, man. All right, and somebody give me uh, the scripture. We, you know what I'm saying, with the gross darkness, man. People, you know what I'm saying, right. know the gross darkness. I see, I see. All right, and you know. Look at uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. And it means the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, which that's Esau, the so-called white man. Esau is the third category of man. He's the wicked. Somebody give me Malachi 1 and 4. We got receipts, baby. We got receipts over here. Great millstones starting out elves apostle going down, and we got receipts over here, man. We back up everything with the scriptures, unlike you Christians, man. You Christians only come along with your emotions. Every damn thing these Christians, when you're trying to bring God or what they be speaking, what they be spewing out of their mouth, they cannot back up with scriptures because ain't no scripture to back it up. The same idiot, Jesse Francis, Justin Francis, all right? You know what I'm saying? He still believe in a goddamn rapture, man. 
This nigga believe in the damn hell doctor. You know what I'm saying? This dude was totally broke because he didn't understand the scriptures, man. And then he denounced his heritage, man. He's supposed to be like his father, Esau. You're not Esau, uh, son of brother, like Jacob. All right. All right? He, he, you ain't, you ain't, you just like goddamn your brother Esau, man. You dumb ass. And then, we gonna get the scripture too. This nigga got goddamn fucking long ass. Go to dreads to break. He got dreads to break. He got, he got all right, but in the damn way, hair. hey man, he got that long ass motherfucking hair, man. What does scripture tell you about a long man having natural hair? That scripture is well too. Look, this is the problem of Christ. All right, go ahead, brother. Uh, this is the uh, book of Malachi, chapter four, verse two. Going in I two, mean, verse four. Going in two. You know what I'm saying? That Esau is the wicked, according to the scriptures, man. He's the wicked, man. Hey, look, hey, look at his actions, man. Look at his works, man. Look at the double works, man. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you allow a man. To Goddamn man, come on man, all right? You know what I'm saying? I can call out many examples of people all day. Oh, man. That guy, that guy Justin, whatever his name is, he cool with that. Call him Justin right. <laughs> he, cool, he, he cool with that, man. You know, allowing men to be women and women to be men. That's what they push here in America, right? So he's talking about him being downgraded to be an Israelite because he's joined heirs with Christ. You talk about Christ, but well, Christ is, uh, is of this world. So, so that means you cool with, with, with men uh, laying down with men and women laying down with women. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And it reads, it says, Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, mm -hmm. but we will return and build a desolate place. Hey man, going back during the time of the Renaissance period. Right? This is Del This is Esau's last run right here, man. That's All right. right. Yeah, I'm second edge. He saw the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Right? You know, people always say if you got like what is, right? But then niggas always say this is the end of the damn world. Who's ruling, man? Who's ruling? Who making the laws, man? Alright? You know what I'm saying? You know, who's based on the goddamn fucking dollar bill, man? Alright? Who who's the guy that go in everybody damn country and try to goddamn run everybody country, try to police every goddamn body? Who the hell going around the whole world and putting sanctions? If you don't agree with Esau, if you don't agree with his policy. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, what he do? He put sanctions on you and shit, man. You only can do that if you ain't fucking rulership, shit, man. Right. All right, you know? Go ahead, bro. Because he's also, you know, he's living out his blessing. That's right. Right? That's right. That's uh, right. In Genesis, the 27th chapter, it goes into the blessing, right? Uh, pretty much his blessing goes into the king and the sword. How did he obtain his king? By using the sword, which was the blessing that was, uh, he was blessed with, man. Right? You got it, bro. Right. Malachi 1 and 4, it said, Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Yeah. But we will return and build a desolate place. Uh -huh. wow. that's, the pride, that's the pride of Esau right there, man. Go ahead, brother. The pride of this damn devil. Thus said the Lord, Yahabashimam host. Uh -huh. They shall build. Throw down. Yeah, Yahweh Shema Shah said he gonna throw down, man. And how Yahweh Shema Shah ultimately gonna throw down America, aka Babylon, hey, with 200 million missiles, man. That's right. right. It's already prophesied that this place is gonna go down within an hour, pursuing back to Revelation, the 18th chapter, man. All right, you know? And that's the time we coming in, man. Okay, and that's the warning we're supposed to be giving you people, man. That's right. All right, you know? Hey, man, don't take the MOTB. All right, you know what I'm saying? Don't be taking the goddamn jump shot. Don't conform to this world. Supposed to be coming back to your heritage, man. That's right. All right. And then, and, and then, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shemal Shah sent out his men, all right, after his own heart, starting that Elder Apostle Great Millstone to give you the proper instructions. Because Yahweh Shemal Shah said you only can worship the Most High in, in, in spirit and in truth at the end of the day, man. You can't worship the Lord like you want to worship the Lord, all right. man. All right. You know what I'm saying? The Most High don't deal that way. That's why the Most High gave us laws such as the commandments, man. The Most High gave us laws such the commandments. For nothing, man. Just, just, just because you want to fill up some goddamn pages and shit. Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a here and you gotta be a doer and you gotta follow instructions, man. That's why Jake, Jake got a problem. You Israelites got a problem following damn instructions, man. Jake don't like authority shit. So-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, man. That's why we up under the curse of Deuteronomy 20th chapter, man. That's why you up in the hood. That's why you in the damn project. That's why your woman eyes even towards a man, towards her children. That's why the man leave the goddamn fucking house. That's why you Jake in fucking privy. That's why you Jake filling up the goddamn prison systems, man. All right, you know, that's why we at the goddamn bottom. You the goddamn tail, man. All right, you can never succeed, man. You, you tried it. Jake tried everything but the truth. Jake, Jake, Jake tried, hey, Marcus Garvey, man. That, that, that didn't work, man. NAACP, that didn't work, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, the, yeah, Nation of Islam, that didn't work. Uh, you tried the goddamn civil rights movement. Right. That yeah. didn't work or whatnot. Black Wall Street. All right, you know what I'm saying? Black right. Wall Street. That did not work, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Hell, your Black Lives Matter. 
That, that did not work, man. All right? Y'all tried everything. Christianity. Y'all been calling on Jesus fucking forever, man. But Jesus at me. Jesus on damn vacation or some yeah. shit. He ain't still in here. And that's not his fucking name. Uh, 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 I forgot his first name, but he's a rock child. That's right, man. That guy, yo. That's uh, Sacred Ray Boy Jerry reincarnated, man. Right, I forgot right. his name. David E. Rothschild. David E. Rothschild. That's right, that's right. You know, that, that, that's Jesus right there. That's right, brother. That's right. Y'all tried everything but the truth, man. I nah. tried everything but the truth. Y'all about your mouth, I said, all to Israel, turn back into the church of Muslims. You know what I'm saying? And praise his name. You know what I'm saying? Praise his name. He'll come back and deliver us right now, man. Just simple niggas would never do that. And that's not a prophecy at the end of the day, right. man. All yeah. right, you know? Yeah. Boy, yeah, but that just showing you the importance of uh, calling upon the Lord. Uh -huh. uh, proving that you got another name to so while we here, man. Right? You got it, uh, brother. Right. Continue on the latter end of uh, Malachi 1 and 4, it says, that's your bill. Matter of fact, you start back up top. Malachi 1 and 4. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. And it reads, it says, Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Uh -huh. Edom, eat, eat so called white people. Go ahead. But we will return and build a desolate place. Uh huh. Thou said the Lord, Yahweh, yeah, shall not shot. They started doing that, you know, during that uh, so called Renaissance period, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because they had, you know, the Roman Empire fell for a thousand year period. And then that's when Jake came into power during the so-called Dark Ages. And after that, you saw came back into power in the time called the, uh, the uh, Renaissance period. That's so right. When you go to that word Renaissance, it means the rebirth. So when they came, when they came back into power, they started rebuilding. So the first thing that they started, the first thing that they did was started whitewashing all of the images of the true Israelites and of the Lord, man. Right, and they, and they started putting up their images as if they're the children of Israel. And when it came to the Lord, they, 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 uh, they, they, they took down the truth of the image of the Lord. Right, and they started putting their images up and calling them all Jesus Christ, man. Right, we were just touching on that, man. So that's what they started doing. You see right now, man, these buildings and all that, these businesses that these uh, devils got, this is a uh, part of them rebuilding. But the Lord about to uh, tear all that down, man. Hey, somebody give me Revelation 13 and 3. And, 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 just, and look up, you can start at verse 201, hold on, you know, you start then. But the main point of Revelation 13 is three. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The beast, you know what I'm saying? This is the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 3. the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns okay, going into the Roman Empire man. all right you know go ahead brother all right having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns uh -huh. and upon his heads the name of blasphemy go ahead verse 2 and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard uh -huh. and his feet were as the feet of a bear. And that was the beginning. You saw rulership starting back with Alexander the Greek, man. Right, you know what I'm saying? What Alexander the Greek had on his damn head? He actually had a goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. leopard a on leopard. his goddamn head yeah. and shit. Man, yeah. you go to certain museums and shit, they got yeah. a display for you. Sure that. Yeah. All right, they show that, man. Right, so that was, you know, that, that's why you have, you saw something about the beginning. Nah, that was the beginning of you practice. Jake, we had some way before the beast, man. Came in the goddamn power. Man. Right, like, All right, man, what's going on? Right. But, but, but you know what? But you know what? Esau got to tell his story. Right, That's his right. story. Right, yeah. right. Fucking right. 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 lie, man. Exactly. Right. Y'all came with the power, Ooh. right? You know is that? I know is that where you're going. Yeah. Man, he started getting worse. Actually, when y'all came with the power, so you talk about civilization. Started with the Greeks. No, that's when shit started getting worse. That's why the world is so fucked up now. Right. Because you so-called Greeks, you eat them like you so-called white people are in power, man. That's why, that's why things is worse, man. Yeah. Right? Because the wicked is ruling. Right? So we're in that time now, for the Lord got his prophets on the highways and byways, calling you devils out. Yep. And the Lord is, is working his work yep. in the process of it, man. Because it's time for you devils to fall, man. Yeah. Right? So y'all about to come out of power. And who's gonna rule next? Israel. That's right. And that guy just talking about it's a downgrade to be Israel. Like, well, you're gonna be destroyed, man, since you wanna add that statement. And the Lord's gonna raise up Israel beginning with the elect, man. That's and right. Then, hey, and that day we're gonna see if you said it's a downgrade to be an Israelite, man. And that's what the fuck you is, man. You're a fucking nigga. Hey, right? Hey, do you know the term what Israel go back to, man? Right. That's the Allah, Yeah, the Lord has surnamed us, man. Y'all should all He Prince of Power, man. Yeah. Right. So how is it a downgrade from uh, not receiving power? Man? 
and, and going back and going back to the brother um point that he made man he made a statement man you said when esau got into power that's when you said hey we ain't seen no goddamn witness that's right on the devil rulership right that's right that's why this damn devil don't prescribe to the uh the book of the apocalypse yeah, man, absolutely. somebody's not canon and whatnot man. Right. It's, not, it's not inspired who the hell are you you ain't authority in the scriptures right, right. you damn devil i respect you the fucking that. lie man all right and, and also in the apocrypha it called out fucking names and shit man right. called names out man let's start goes into their own There you go. I've trying to hide. There you go, brother. All right, this right here, 1st Maccabees. One, um, up top, 1st Maccabees 1. And it happened after that, Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, the king of the Persians, and me, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. Hey, that's the beginning of your practice you know, ship, man. That's your, that's your uh, scripture on civil civilization right. started with the Greeks. That's right. That's what y'all talking about right there. That's like right. the bishop just alluded to. This is why y'all wanted to take the Apocrypha out of the scriptures. That's right. right. Because it goes into your so-called Greek captivity. Right, what goes into your Greek captivity. And y'all say, well, civilization started with the Greeks. So that'll link y'all up to these wicked motherfuckers right, right here, man. That's, that's, right. All, that's why y'all wanted to take it out. That's Got right. It. Verse two, Maccabees one and two and made many wars, and won many strongholds, and slew the kings of the earth, and went through the ends of the earth, and took spoils of many nations, in so much that the earth was quiet before him. There you go, that's, that's a sign right there, man. You know, he came in causing hell wreaking havoc, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord was actually with him, during this time to fulfill prophecy, man. And what his blessing was, the sword. The sword. And there he was go. putting that bad boy to use, yeah, man. Go. He don't draw the sword out in goddamn vain, and he had to fulfill prophecy. That's how yeah. Alexander the Greek was able to conquer all them damn nations, the dark nations, so goddamn quickly, man, all right? But it says, in so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. That pride, man. Yeah. That pride of this damn devil. That's Same why man. he got that's why he got the emblem of the goddamn fucking eagle, man. Yeah. What the eagle represents, man. The eagle's a proud ass fucking yeah. bird, man. They fly, right. they uh they, they uh, out of all the birds, they fly the highest, man. Right. They they they're the uh, apex predators of uh, of their species, man. That's right, brother. So when you go into that uh, apex, that uh when you go into an apex predator, Pretty much, they're at the top of the food chain yeah. when it comes to their species, man. That's right, that's right. They, 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 they hunt, they do the hunting, but they're not hunting, man. That's right, that's right. Hey, first Maccabees 1 and 3, and went through, and Esau just like that because the scripture tell you, Esau is not in trouble as other men, man. All right, not 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 right now, anyway. Yeah. Right. But he about to be like a chase robe in a minute. There you go. A chase robe like a goddamn deer, man. That's right. You know, a deer is very timid. You see all the nations turn on this goddamn devil now, man. Yep. You, exactly. you even got Esau turning against Esau, man. The Russians, they ain't up another set of goddamn Edomites, yep. man. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying, you know? Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's right, brother, that's right. First Maccabees 1 and 3. And went through to the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations in so much that the earth was quiet before him. Whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up, and he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. So we know the Greeks go back to the Edomites. You know the Greeks are so called white people, man. You yeah. niggas know that damn much. Yeah. They may don't know biblically where the nationality go back, but you ask them who the Greeks, Alexander the Greek, yeah. they can simulate that with yeah. so called white damn man. Right. So we read it, they got damn history right yeah. here, man. Let's continue on, damn man. Right. All right? Hey, Maccabees. One and five, and after these things he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Wherefore, and that's talking about Alexander the Greek, he ruled for 12 years, man. So, right, you know, before, you know what I'm saying, he died, you know, at a young age. But going back, uh, first uh, Maccabees 1 and 6, wherefore he called his servants, such as were honorable and had been bought up with him from his youth, and parted his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then and then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after, and check it out, this is right here, the point in verse nine. All right, going back to Malachi one and four, right? You know what I'm saying? Proving that Esau is the goddamn wicked, according to the scriptures, the third category of man, right? This is right here, first Maccabees one and nine. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons. After them, many years and evils were multiplied in the earth. Man. Come on, man. Come See on, that? Man. It says the evils on, man. were multiplied in the earth. This is talking about when y'all came, you know, the height of y'all coming into y'all power, man. That right. peak, man. It right. says wickedness, you know, uh, bring that back out. Come, come, come. It says it was increased, right? Come. Hey, first Maccabees 1 and 9, and after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. 
so did their sons. After them, many years and evils were multiplied in the earth. And it said they, it said they put crowns on them, meaning there was a power, there was a rulership. And it says evils were multiplied in the earth, man. Because why? They was in power, man. And shit started getting more wicked and wicked. Who's in power now, man? These devil, y'all devils still in power, man. You goddamn crackers, you so-called white people, man. All right, mainly talking about the elites of this society, man. These so-called elite banking families, man. And look at the world right now, man. Completely bugged the fuck out, man. They, 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 they allow women to commit adultery. Right. The Bible says if a woman commit adultery, put it, to, put it to death. If a man commit adultery, he's supposed to be put, put to the goddamn death. death. Mm -hmm. if, if, if there's an act, uh, 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 sodomite going on, if the act of sodomy going on or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they're supposed to be put to death. The giver and the receiver. Okay, yep. the alphabet people, the little fruity alphabet yeah, people. Yeah. They're supposed to be put to goddamn thing. You gotta be careful right. how you say shit. Right. But hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Hey, he's all want to take it down. It is what it is. Yeah, but it. hey, they're supposed to be put to goddamn death. That's now, right. now, now, didn't in 1983, did not Ronald Reagan theme it? Yeah. Theme yeah. that year, the year of the Bible, right? Absolutely. That America is supposed to be basing their principles. Off the scriptures, off the yep. Bible, right? Yep. You know what I'm saying? But then, like I say, they allow two men to get married. Yep. They allow two women to get married. Hey, that, hey, hey, that law and that bill was written in fucking America, aka that's how like, you know that's fucking Babylon, that's man. Right. And then, and then when that shit started, when that shit happened in Babylon, then that shit trickled down to the rest of the goddamn earth, man. Absolutely. It is. You can have women. Let's say you can have women coming from the middle. You can have Elam or or, or Ishmael yep. coming or Ham coming from the Middle East, man. See. You know what I'm saying? In the Middle East, they don't play that shit. They, right, they, yeah. they, they stick to the law of the Bible, man. They got from the Hebrew Israelites, man. If they damn woman, you know what I'm saying, commit adultery, they woman get put to death, man. And they call that an honorable death. Yep. It, you know what I'm saying? How many stories we done read where you done had Elam, a, 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 a Elamite, a female Elamite, she dishonored her family. She was already promised to another man. She didn't want to marry that man. Yeah. And she up there going horn. What? Her damn brothers, her family get together and see and see who gonna put her ass in goddamn death. And what they call that? An honorable death, man. Yeah, yeah. But then, guess what? When they come over to America, what they what happen? They get Americanized. Yeah. Right. They get Americanized yeah, westernized, and whatnot. And they get Westernized, man. You they know? come over here and turn, you know, they come over here and become whores and sluts, man. And then like these American women. And then when Esau go to the Middle East, what do Esau want to push? You know, push to the people in the Middle they East. Man. Go Homo democracy. Democracy. Yeah, democracy. They start man. talking about yeah. democracy. They want to push their wicked ways upon the uh, the ways of the Middle East, man. Come on, man. Right? Come on, man. But Esau ain't the wicked though, man. Right. All right. Go ahead, bro. I have a quick one real quick. Go ahead, I'll go pass to that, brother. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 13. It said about evil men. And seducers shall wax worse and worse. Yeah, it's it. The evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Look at the state of America right now, man. Hey, this is a man of wickedness, man. That's right. Now, see, that's why the Lord is bringing, you know, these prophecies to pass. Because it's almost time for the Lord to uh, to, to bomb this place, man. Hey, hey, Babylon, hey, America, the word that you used earlier, they the apex when it comes to wickedness. Right. Hey, the absolutely. apex when it right. comes to wickedness. Absolutely. That's why it's Babylon. That's why it's Babylon, That's why uh, Revelation, the 17th chapter, refers to this place as the mother of all harlots. That's right. Brother. All those right. same uh, ancient deities and uh, pagan gods uh, and idols that was being worshipped in those ancient uh, countries when, uh, during, uh, during, during those ancient times, they're being worshipped today, man. They yeah, just right. repackaged, man. Right. Like Chris, uh, Christmas, right. uh, uh, Halloween, Easter. Easter, so on and so forth, man. Right? They, they ain't nothing but them same pagan uh, 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 gods being worshipped, uh, being repackaged and worshipped over here in America, man. Right. All of them, man. Right? right? Keep going, bro. It says, continue on, it says, deceiving and being deceived. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 14. But continue down in thy days, what thou hast learned, and has been sure of knowing whom thou shalt learn them from. Yeah, so at the end of the day, man, what, what type of what type of spirit are you supposed to be in, man? You're supposed to be following the ways of Esau. And I'm speaking to you Israelites. God, right. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Because who did the Lord make a covenant with? Did he make a covenant with everybody yep. or did he make it with, 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 with a certain particular people? Right. He made that covenant with the Israelites, man. That's right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. So so uh, with that covenant, he gave us certain laws, statutes, and commandments that we are to follow. That's right. We broke that covenant. The bishop was going into it earlier. Mm -hmm. We broke right. that covenant. That's why we're in this situation that we're in now. That's right. Right? That's but right. now we're in that point where that time to where the Lord got his prophets. Lord willing, we of that uh, number, right. we of the elect. Lord willing, he got his prophets out here telling y'all to repent. No, now y'all ain't. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Now y'all now y'all ain't got no excuse. Right. So, so what type of spirit should you be in? Should you still be following this goddamn devil? Or should you be following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man? Hold on, say, right? hey, hey, repeat that again. What you said? Just yeah, what, what type of spirit should you be in, man? Mm -hmm. Right? Because you, you got you got you got Jake 
Hey, we're talking about that Justin guy, right? Yeah, Whatever the fuck his name him. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're talking about him. Hey, he, hey, at the end of the day, he's a victim of that, man. He's been victimized of Esau Edom, and, 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 he, and he's suffering from it by saying a, 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 a stupid-ass statement, talking about it's a downgrade to become an Israelite because you're joint heirs with Christ. And, and, you, and you just know in his goddamn mind when he's saying Christ, he's speaking about white Jesus. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He think about, no, he think about the Lord being black. Right. But going back, I'm pretty up what, you, what you're saying, bro. Hey, Romans 12 and two, cause you said what type of spirit should we be in, right? right, right. Hey, Romans 12 and two. And be not conformed to this world, That's right. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So if we gotta renew our mind, the ways of this world is fucking wicked, man. Why, 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 why would we have to conform? Why would we have to conform? You know what I'm saying? In this world is righteousness, man. Right. No, 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 no. That's how you know this world is wicked. Going back yeah. to Job 9 and 24, man. Yep. Because the way of this world gonna destroy you, man. Yep. All right. Okay. It's polluted. It's polluted, man. All right. Going back to Michael 2 and 10, man. That's it's right. not our rest, man. That's right. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Cause we learned number fucking lies over here. Right, right. Number lies, that's what the devil taught us. He done re us, man. He gave us Christianity, he gave us religion at the end of the day, man. All right, and the religion that he gave us ain't back up with no scriptures, man. Right. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's why he the damn devil, cause he the ultimate damn deceiver at the end of the yep. damn day. That's why you having so many jakes leaving the damn black churches today, man. All yep. right, cause they, they're, they're realizing Ain't the truth ain't with the truth ain't with the damn church. You know, you got a lot of DJ, they're not waking up to the not all on waking up to the fact that they Hebrew Israelites, but they know that these churches, they ain't got the truth, man. They right. know the truth don't lie with them, man. All right? Romans. Yeah, you can look, yeah. at, you can look yeah. at these uh leaders, right? Hey, let's take let's take uh, uh, uh Sleepy Joe, for example, right? And, and, and the rest of his camp, you know what I'm saying, these governors of these other countries. Hey, they talking about a new world order, man. Right. Now in right. that new world order, are they uplifting Christ? No, hell. Fuck. Are they uplifting right. Christianity? Right. No. Fuck no, they ain't uplifting no. that shit. So they telling you right now that all that shit is bullshit, man. If they was uplifting, if this one here was a Christian nation, man, when you had a goddamn pandemic, why they never suggest for the people just go ahead and pray to the Lord, right, man? Right. Pray to your how about shimmy exactly. how man? They said you pray know? to the vaccines. Come on, man. Yeah, I ain't mean to say the word. Right, right, right. We know right. what it is. We know what it is. We know what it is. Right. Hey. They, they want total control. Yeah, yeah they want for it. So they not talking about uh, uh, who the world called Christ and how it's not bringing total control over the earth. Right. They wanted, they wanted total control of themselves, man. That's why right. they pushing a, a, a lead into a, a digital currency. Man. Right, that's, right. Why they, that's why they uplift themselves and try to get themselves that God confidence. That's right. They want everybody to, to, to look up to them and not the, the Lord of the Bible. That's right. That's why the prophecy's here, man. That's right. That's why they demonizing the Bible, man. Right. All right. And, and the prophets, the men of the Lord, man. Some of those apostles going down, man. All right. But it's right here, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed right. by the said, redoing. It said that be not conformed to this world. Don't conform your ways to this world, man. Because who's in power? We just went over it, man. Esau, Edom, he's the one who's in power, man, living out his blessing. That's so right. don't conform to his ways, man. That's right. That's right? right. That's right. But be ye, uh, let me start back up top. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah? Yeah, it said be transformed, man. You got to become a new man, man. Mm -hmm. You got to shed them old ways that you was when you was once in the world. Hey, that's the real baptism too, by the way, man. Hey, your baptism don't mean getting dunked, going to these toilet houses and getting your head dunked in some filthy ass water, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Baptize, hey, that's the real baptism right there, man. You got to change your ways, man. You gotta start patterning yourself after the Lord of the Bible, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You gotta start patterning yourself after His ways, man. Trying to keep His law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, man. Right? You gotta squat. Uh, just quick. This is Psalms 119, verse 9. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? See? It said by taking heed according to thy word. What word is it talking about, man? The scriptures, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It said by taking heed, man. Right? When you take heed, I mean you start following something, man. You start following after those. Uh, you start patterning yourself after uh, after a certain way. When you taking heed to something, right? So we both pattern ourselves of the certain that certain way, meaning uh, the ways of the Bible, the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's how you're supposed to pattern yourself, man. Right? Going back to uh, Romans 12 and 2, it said, uh, at the beginning, it said, be not conformed to this world. And we're supposed to conform ourselves to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. What does this world promote? Nothing but, but uh, anti-Messiah material, man. Everything that's against you, how I boss you know, Shy, that's what this world promotes, man. That's right, that's right. right. I got a pre up for you, yeah. brother. All right, this right here, St. John, and this red letter, Yahweh Shy. 
St. John 15 and 3. St. John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. It said, now you are clean through the word, man. It ain't say go up, uh, by going in your head and dunking some filthy ass, polluted right. ass water, man. It says through the word, that's how you cleanse, man. Through what word? The words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the word of the Bible, man. Right? It says that's how you clean yourself, man. That's the real baptism, right? That's right. Alright. Oh uh, man, we go back. Hey, matter of fact, go back to the first scripture where we started from. Go back to uh Romans uh three and one, bro. Yeah, that's real. the real hey, that, that's what's going on, man. That's right. Man. Right, hey, hey, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is back, man. And, back on the planet Earth. Man. And the word ain't with no damn Christians. Fuck no. Right? Okay. <laughs> Alright. That weak ass shit, man. M Mr. Uh Justin Francis, alright? You man, you know what? I ain't gonna have to, I ain't gonna say that. Go ahead. I said it off camera. Go ahead. Bro. <laughs> ah, you know. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. What advantage then have the Jew? Uh -huh. Or what profit is there of circumcision? What profit there is of the circumcision, man, being in this truth, man, knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite, man. Right, keeping the laws and the commandments to the best of your ability, man. What 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 is what is the benefit, man? Let's let's, let's, let's find out, man. All right, let's go to Psalm 47, 19 and 20, man. Let's find out, bro. All right, this is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19 and 20. He showed his word unto Jacob. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, let's hold it up, go ahead, brother. All right, this is the name Psalms 147 and 19, it says, he showed his word unto Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, man, Why? Which, is, which is synonymous with Israel. But we know Jacob, he wrestled with the angel, all right, all night, man. And, he, and, and Jacob would not let the angel go all right, you know what I'm saying, you know, until the angel bless him, man. And Jacob, you know what I'm saying, like I said, you know, so the angel had to, had to goddamn separate, you know what I'm saying, it's him. You know what I'm saying, you know, in order for y'all, you know, in order for Jacob, you know what I'm saying, to let him go, man. But Jacob still ain't let him go, man, till he got that blessing, man. All right, you know, to showing you the strength, showing you the power of our people, man, at the end of the day, man. All right, we some spiritual people, man. All right, go ahead, brother. And, and, and that was all through the spirit of the Lord. That's right. The Lord had that play out, man, because ultimately the Lord already knew who he was gonna bless and, his, and whose seed line he was gonna bless. Man. That's right. Right? And it started with what? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. And then that Yahweh Shemal prophesied to Abraham. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that uh, his children, they're gonna serve 400 years of captivity yep. up under the Egyptians and whatnot. Yep. And that's talking about in ancient Egypt. Not no modern day Egypt in America. You put right. you dummies out there right. preaching that shit, bro. Alright. Right. right. <laughs> but, 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 but the point is, you know, we was talking about that, that, that blessing. Mm -hmm. He gave that blessing to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Alright, ultimately the Israelites. Uh -huh. You got this dumbass talking about that that being an Israelite is a fucking downgrade, man. Mm -hmm. Do you do you not understand that uh, what we're about to receive, what we're about to come into? Right. Right. Evidently right. you don't, man. That's why you can follow the ground with a uh, whole camp of gold, man. That's right, man. And like I say, he ain't nothing but the goddamn nibble. A vocal Malone, right, man. That's all the right, fuck he is a damn right. fucking nibble, man. You, you, you damn, you on, you on goddamn bo vocal Malone titty, man. Right. That's all the fuck you. You exactly. the nibble on that nigga titty, man. Right. Exactly. Fuck you, uh, I'm about to call him Jesse, but Justin, um, uh, Francis. Fuck, fuck that fuck nigga, name man. Is, man. Name ain't even fucking important, man. Go ahead, bro. Right. This is Psalms 147, verse 19. It says, He showed his word unto Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, you so called Negroes, so called Latinos, so called Native Americans, man. That's who Yahweh Shemal Shah showed his word to, man. Right? You know, he gave his word to every goddamn body. Right. Right? All right? Contrary right. to popular belief, man. That's what Christianity teach your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can come to the Lord. Anybody that accept the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Accept, the, accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and they say, first of all, ain't no letter G, ain't no letter J in the Hebrew, man. In the ancient Hebrew, man. All right? And his name ain't no goddamn Jesus. All right? You know, by the way. Okay? Right. Pretty much. Like but they go better. They go over the Christian head, man. right? All right, you know. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. Then what? 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 Proverbs thirty and four talk about that, man? Right. What? What? And somebody bring up Proverbs thirty and four real quick, Proverbs sure, sharp, man. All right, you know, because hey, you got to know that name, man. What name you gonna call on, man? Yep. All right, y'all about Shemashah? He gonna ask. He gonna. He gonna ask to his name, man. Not right. no fucking Jesus, man. Okay. All right, call on Jesus. Be some damn demons coming after your ass, man. Yep. All right, go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter thirty, verse four. Uh huh. Who have ascended up into heaven uh -huh. or descended? Go ahead. Who have gathered gathered the wind in his fist? Uh huh. Who have bound the waters in a garment? Go ahead. Who have established all the ends of the earth? Right. What is his name, uh -huh. and what is his son's name, that thou his name? It says name, is that name, is it singular or plural? 
Hey, it's single. They said, what is his name? And they didn't say, what is his name? So, he, so did I tell you, the Lord, and you know what I'm saying, he got him with one name, man. He ain't got no two, three damn names and he shit, man. He many titles. All right, okay. Yeah. All right. Not the, many names. The name, the name of who your word, even when we call God, or Jehovah, his name is Yahweh. He is. He's, he exists, man. Yahweh, Yah, he's everywhere, man. Right, you know, in the, the world, who the world only call Jesus Christ, all right, or, or, or the Lord, or, or Yeshua, you know what I'm saying, you know, his name is Yahweh Shah, man, right, he's the deliverer, man, okay, that's the name, and if you if you don't call on that name, and, and you can know the name of Yahweh Shah, Shah, don't mean your ass can get delivered either, man, because it's all pertaining to the election of Yahweh Shah, Shah, you gotta be of the elect, of the 144,000 and a one third, man, right, you know, Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, but that was that was that was the point. We, 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 we,
know, we know Justin Peterson. Just, I'm about to call him Justin Peterson. But Justin Francis, we know he don't know you. How about you, Malvin Shad, man? He don't know his nationality, man. Go ahead, brother. And I'm, I'm about to say, how do you get to know the Lord? By the Holy Scriptures. That's where the spirit lies in. That's right. Okay, that's right. by the way, the, the prophets, the teachers. Okay, but since they don't want to acknowledge the teachers, the prophets of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, they, they know the Lord. That's right. That's why, once again, they're destroyed for the lack of knowledge in the scriptures. They're, they're, they're foolish, man. That's right. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadists. Children and the word uh, sadish means extremely stupid. <laughs> man, you got to be extremely stupid to make a stupid statement that you don't want to be a Israelite, but somehow you join heirs with uh, uh, Christ. Well, you have understanding of the scriptures, okay? Who the world called Christ? He's an Israelite. Right. His nationality is an Israelite. Brother, not man. Hebrew chapter uh, fourteen and seven. That he came from out of. I ain't ready. Oh, we Oh, but you know what? This damn clown, goddamn fucking uh, J Justin, Justin, um, call him J Justin ass, no dumb ass vocab alone, um, minion and shit. Hey, he he don't even know that the Bible, the scriptures. What what was the original translation, man? What was the original translation of, of the Old Testament? Man? What was the original translation of the New Testament? Man? You know what I'm saying? He couldn't he couldn't fucking tell you that, man. He couldn't tell you that in different languages. Words have different meanings. He yeah, can't tell you that, man. Right, but but he supposed to be so goddamn deep. He supposed to be a goddamn doctor and shit. Like Elder Pastor Hart said, man, you need to go back to that goddamn seminary theologian school. Right. Your ass, uh, cemetery school your ass went to, and you need to be suing Esau and getting your fucking money back, man. You need to sue Esau to get your money back, man. Yeah, and they stole your fucking money, boy. Yeah, they you. stole your fucking money. Yeah. All right, you got finesse, man. Yeah. All right, right. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say this. Let's just be honest, man. The only reason why you Christians all of a sudden want to try to go into the Bible mm -hmm. and y'all y'all are breaking it down the wrong way completely, <laughs> right? The only reason why y'all want to try to, you know, all of a sudden now y'all want to go into the Bible is because of the Hebrew Israelites, That's right? It, brother. That's right? It, when the apostles and elders came YouTube back in 07, I mean, you had, uh, what, IUIC, uh, they was on purpose. Who started preaching the real truth? That's right. The apostles and elders are great bills, so right. let's keep it real. That's man. right, brother. Right? That's and, right. And, and, and now, you know, uh, all the fruit that it, uh, it has bared, and now you see this great awakening happening. The only, that's the only reason why now, all of a sudden, y'all want to go into the Bible. Because before that, y'all was y'all weren't even thinking about it, man. All y'all was saying, Jesus, Jesus, love, love, love. That's all y'all was teaching. Right? Now y'all want to try to go into breakdowns, go into revelation. Hey, man. Hey, man, just put it down, man. That's just right. If I can say that's what the brothers did, they very wise because they go to, to the fact that they're wise. They have a good understanding because they're quick to uh, try to open the Bible up and try to read just so they can so called attempt to debate right. with us. Bring it back to you, brother. Bring it up. Bring it back to you, Kabbalah. Hey, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are not as children. And they have none understanding. Right. They are wise to do evil, yeah. but to do good, they have no knowledge. I, I, I think it's an evil thing. You see, now all of a sudden, as the priest was alluding to, now they see the Hebrew Israelites out, out here, and now they know they've been lied to. Now all of a sudden, they're going to pick up the Bible and take the Lord dealing with them. And now all of a sudden, they ain't even uh, reading the words, man, because they're not understanding the words, man. And so now they want to come out here and they try to uh, so called debate with us, man. All right, and that's an evil thing. The Lord said, they wise to do evil. Going back to how the Lord said, our people got that zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. Because you're supposed to have fear first and foremost of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema And then you, as a babe, man, you gotta get built up, man. That's so right. our people, hey, as the brother said, man, they, they, like, they, they hate to admit, they know hate to admit when they wrong and when they don't understand something. That's they always pride. feel that sense of embarrassment, man. But there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I didn't know, I didn't understand, and getting that dog on correction, man. That's right. But our people don't want to fucking be, uh, act, act as if they need some correction, man. That's yeah, right. Pride. Yeah, I got another precept for you, Kabbalah. Right. Up right for Kabbalah right here. Okay. Romans 11 and 7. Yes, what then? Yeah. Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Yeah. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blind. Hey, that's the Lord right there letting you know, man. It, it's going to be that separation because God. what? The election is going to obtain this truth, man. They're going to know when it's time to pipe down and when it's time to listen, man. All right, because our people are lost as all out hell, man. Don't know what's going on, man. That's why the scripture said, what then? Israel, these people on the 
Americans draw. You Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, you're the one that's fucking the most lost out here, man. Jacob prescribed to being a Christian. How many Jacobs we know that used to be a Christian? Now he a damn Muslim. Right, well, now he right, a damn right. one body. Right, what, right. Israel ain't the table he's seeking for? You got the prophets and the elders and apostles out here, man. Right. Giving you the 100% truth, man. Ain't no gray areas, man. All right, but the scriptures say the election will obtain it, man. And the rest is, will be blinded, man. And we see our people out here walking around like goddamn blind mouth mice, man. All right, I want to dead. Yeah, it's not, man. Right. And when Esau made movies about damn zombies, exactly. Talk about you fucking clowns, man. Romans 11 and 8, according as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Hey, man, that's the terror of the Lord, too, man. Because imagine we telling our people, giving our people that warning every day, but Jake just don't get it. Then you just got to come and realize that, damn, man. Hey, the Lord got the spirit of slumber on this dude, right, man. Because right, right. the scripture say eyes that he cannot see, see, and ears that he cannot hear, man. Imagine, like, you got the videos right here. Uh, uh, you can listen to them every day. All right, but you know, like, we see countless brothers riding by, bumping the horn, man. Those are eyes of, uh, of people that don't, that, 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 that ain't being obedient, man. Right. Because bumping the horn ain't going to, the Lord don't acknowledge that, man. <laughs> the Lord ain't going to be like, yeah, man, you know what? He did come through and bump the horn at y'all, brother. Cheerleaders, man. Most of them don't cheerleaders. He's all right, man. Yeah. Nah, man, you got to actually be uh, uh, working, man. You got to be uh, presenting your body as a living sacrifice, man. You got to uh, 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 be in the spirit of fasting, man. You got to deny your goddamn flesh, man. Because Jake, that's one thing about Jake. They don't fucking want to deny their flesh, man, at all, man. All right, you got to walk away from this bullshit in this goddamn world, man. Yeah, Jake, Jake, Jake want to be affiliated, but they ain't want to yeah, be active. Bro. You got to be active, man. They want to be affiliated and shit and yeah. whatnot, man. You got you to get into action, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, oh, I'll be destroyed at the end of the goddamn day, man. I got one more script, one more, one more, one more script. Romans 11 and 9. And David said, let their table, which represent the truth, be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. That's King David put curse on you two third right. niggas, man. When it will never ever come into this knowledge, never come into this truth. Even you niggas that's in the circumcision that know that you Hebrew Israelites, you got the garments, you know, you got, you got, you got the fringe, you got the border blue. You come on, brother, come on, brother. You got the border blue. You know what I'm saying? You can be out there on the highways and byways, but if you're not teaching 100% truth, right. hey, the most I ain't dealing with you neither, you're going to be destroyed too, man. Because you can't take away from the word, all right? And you can't add to the word, man. So if you're not prophesying, you're not being diligent, and you're not, you're not prophesying about the dag on MOTB, the great millstone on the camp, you know what I'm saying? They're teaching on the MOTB, right. being diligent with it, man. You know, GOCC, they'll mention it here and there, but then they go off about a million other damn things, man. Oh, they right. can't even give you the correct name of your Habashim right. Shah. They right. can't even give you the correct tribe. They want, they want to include Jaffa. They put Jaffa <laughs> up there and shit. Talking about Jaffa part of the 12 tribe. No, they off, man. All right, you know? Right, right, right. I mean, hey, hey Jaffa got some beautiful women. I mean, goddamn. They're that, that, part of the tribes, right, man. Right, right. I mean, damn, bro. I get right, it, bro. Right. Like, Jaffa got some beautiful women. But that don't mean they're a part of the tribes, bro. Like, right, chill out, bro. Right, right. You know? <laughs> hey, now, um, I still got this Hebrew. It's uh, 7 and 14. God, God, God. Yahweh Shah is an Israelite, man. That's right, that's All right. right. He's an Israelite. That's right. right. Cause we prove because we're going into the benefit of being a Hebrew Israelite, man. All right? Because <laughs> yeah, this yeah. clown say being a Hebrew Israelite is a damn downgrade. <laughs> He's an idiot. And like I said, that got to be the most remediate Goddamn yeah, yeah. ass I ever heard in my goddamn life. Yeah, that nigga bro. short bus driver, man. Yeah, bro. All right? You know? He ain't no short tell. bus driver, he on the short bus, man. And I don't even hey, And you can yeah. tell, you can tell he was unsure that he wanted to make that statement the way he was looking at the camera when mm -hmm. he was about to say it and when he said it. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, at the end of the day, you don't believe that, bro. Nah, he don't, man. <laughs> he he a damn devil, to, man. Yeah. He a demon, exactly. man. He want to please goddamn Bo Cam Malone. Go, His goddamn daddy, man. Yeah. Bo Cam Malone, your fucking daddy, nigga. Yeah, bro. bro. You might as well get Bo Cam Malone. You might as well get Bo Cam Malone named Tatted on your ass, nigga. Right. That's your guy, nigga. Hey, hey, Stupid what? Nigga. Now, why, why don't you say Bo Cam Malone want to wear a beard now? You yeah. wouldn't wear no beard like that a few years ago when you first started exactly. talking. Exactly, man. Okay, if you a fan, man. That's all. Yeah, he a fanboy, man. He a fanboy, man. He wish he was a Hebrew Israelite, man. That's what that, that, that all go back to, man. Going back to Balak and Blake. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wish he was a Hebrew Israelite, yeah. man. Okay, here they they don't want to talk. They, they know who their true nationality oh, yeah. is, but what, who are they claiming to be today, man? They claiming to be us, man. Yeah, that's right. That's but, right. But, you, but they, those are heathens, man. Hey, that, that's a great point, though. If if being a Hebrew Israelite is a downgrade, why don't them small heads want to claim or uh, want right. to um, cling to our nationality and whatnot, right. man? If that's the case, why everybody fighting over the land of Israel today, man? Right. 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 You know what I'm right. saying? See, this nigga ain't deep, man. You ain't right. deep, bro. Like, 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 
like uh, Chris um, Iron Wise said, that clown didn't even believe that, man. Right. You know, he's doing shit out of spite. He's saying shit out of spite. There you man. go. Trying to get clout. That's all yep. he's trying to do, get clout, right. man. That's right. all, man. I forgot what or uh, what brother said, it, but basically, man, he want to be, because that's what y'all Christians want, man. Y'all y'all want to be that that one person that came up and say, yeah, man, I, I stopped the Hebrew Israelites. I, I can found it. I can found it. It ain't going to happen. You're kicking against the pricks, man. Exactly. Right? Bro. right? Right. Exactly. All you gonna do is end up making yourself look stupid, looking like dumb. just like how you just did, man. Send us a down Now you got brothers jumping on your dumb ass. That's right, bro. Right. That's right, man. And it's just like uh, what hey, what that uh, what that statement Mike Tyson made back in the day. Everybody got a got plan, plan to get, get punched in the fucking mouth and shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he came up? Uh, he had a plan. Now he getting punched in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Because he went up. I believe that was what he, uh, against uh, Sakari. Mm -hmm. And then and at the end of the day, they started looking rocky. Because they don't got the whole truth, man. Exactly. That's why y'all started looking exactly. dumb out there, man. Kind, man. That's and, right, bro. Because he asked a simple question. He was like, I forgot what the They said, uh, do y'all see it? And they talk about no, man. And we all are sinners, but, but, but you know what? Sakari, they said they keep the laws perfect, yo. yo. So you know why they say something like yo, that, you see? Though, man. They said see? they keep the laws perfect, man. Now y'all was out there looking dumb as hell. Right. Right. Retarded. Right. You, how the hell you let a goddamn retarded ass nigga <laughs> on a damn pre-K fucking level confound y'all simple nigga, Come on, man? Get one on y'all, man. All right? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I, got, I got two quick ones. I'm going to bring this Hebrews 7 and 14. Proving that hey, the Lord Yahweh shot who the world ate to call Jesus Christ is Israelite, man. All right? And then I got a quick one just to hey, the benefits of being a, a Hebrew Israelite. So this is Hebrews 7 and 14. It says, what is evident that our Lord is going to shot my shit out. Hey, it's, it's evident, man. Evident. Come on, man. It's evident, bro. Come on, man. It's obvious, man. It's so obvious, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. Alright, bring it back. This is Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews 7. And, and then and then furthermore, this is called it's a book of Hebrews. Come on, book of Hebrews. Come on, come on, another great point. Another great point. Another great point, huh? another great point bro. Come on, man. Hey, he, Hebrews 7 and 14. You showing off now, brother. You showing off. Yeah, <laughs> spirit, man. Lord is great. The spirit of Hey, spirit heaven, bro. Hey, bring out so much fire, man. Bring out that heat coming out, man. You gotta call 911, man. Somebody call 911. Too much fire, man. Man, man. y'all see us, baby. Y'all y'all see us, man. <laughs> Don't even get mad no more, man. Get your ass on, man. They were, 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 uh, and the brothers got that, that definition for evident. This is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 7 and 14. Uh, for it is evident that our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach sprang out of Judah. Right. Ooh. It says it is evident, right? So when you go into that word evident, it says plainly seen or perceived. Ooh. It says plainly seen, man, or perceived, manifest. Obvious, uh -huh. so it's obvious. It's plainly seen. But 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 two thirds can't see it. Did we read in Romans 11 and 7? Most high right. blinded two thirds, yeah. man. Right. He blinded two thirds. They can't see it. Hey, like and, and then he don't even know. Uh, uh, I'm about to call him Jimmy. But what the nigga name? Uh, what the nigga Justin. name? Justin. Yeah, yeah. Goddamn, uh, fucking Justin. Don't even know. Feel the prophecy, bro. Feel exactly. the prophecy. Exactly. Man. Ignorant ass, ignorant ass nigga. Hey, like the, like the scripture says, plain unto uh, the righteous, but mm -hmm. a stumbling block unto the wicked. That's man. right. So that's, that's right. why you, that's why you, uh, you bird brain Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans can't understand this uh, uh the truth because y'all y'all hey, y'all the wicked man right. y'all not the actual wicked but y'all follow the wicked y'all right. wicked as hell. Not your Howard Shaw was cussing out no wicked ass Israelites. That's right. right. Oh no wicked ass Pharisees. Did he tell them y'all just like the fuck like, like y'all father, father the damn devil, devil or whatnot? Absolutely. And, 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 and see and for y'all that need uh example. Yeah, Yahweh Shah actually called a white man the damn devil. Right. That's what Yahweh Shah was calling the so-called white man Esau the goddamn devil, man. Right. He said y'all just like y'all father the goddamn devil, devil man. Yeah. You know? Because if I am mistaken, when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, who was in captivity during that time, man? Uh, what, the Romans, right? No, the Romans in rulership. The Romans was in uh, rule. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, yeah. rulership, not captivity. Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah. Now you good, the tongue. you good. You know? Yeah, the heart, but, brother, yeah, yeah, the heart the tongue, uh -huh. Right? But they was in, they was in, uh, he was, they, were, they were the ones who was ruling. Yeah. yeah how was I was, uh, and, and the Israelites was in captivity during that time. But the Romans was ruling. Who does the Romans go back to? Uh, the Edomites, the so called white people. Right. Because they love to take pride in the Romans. Right? You see all these movies, all right, the Roman Empire, so on and so forth. What did those people look like? So called white people. Man. Okay? So yeah, I was, I was referring to them as the devil, man. All right? And that's why uh, early throughout the lesson, we went into the history about the Greeks. Okay, they're, they're the so called white people today. But then you had the Romans that descended from the Greeks. That's why also the Romans are also known for known as what? The Greco Roman Empire. Right. Okay, like priests going into I mean, they're they're uh, Edomites as well. 
Amen. That was during that time. God, and um, in that same definition, uh, evident, it says known to all. So everybody, yeah, this word is known to all, but that's your reality. Hey, Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shah is known to all, man. Yeah. All right, and his name, you know, it, it's going to be known to all, man. Hey, Shalot, this right here, Google right here, man. Hey, this right here was a question right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it in the camera. It says, was Esau's descendants in Rome? That's the question. Who is America? Radio program. September 11, 2013. According to Jewish historians, the Roman Empire can came to be identified with Esau and Ooh. Edom. There you go right here, man. There you there go. go right here. Hold on. There you go, man. You see it right there, brother? There you go. You see that? Right hey, that's evidence known to all. There you hey. go again. Hey, to prove that the Edomites are yeah. uh, the Romans today are the, are the Edomites today. Before NATO came into power, as before they actually called itself the, the North Atlantic uh, Treaty Organization, before they called itself NATO, they were first known as what? The Treaty of. There you go right there. There you go right there. How did you make it say fire, fire, fire? There you go, there you go right there, man. Oh, man. Hey, you got you got Esau telling on their own self, man. Oh, man. You see that? Hey, 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 look, we well uh, learned up here, man. Come on, man. Right? That's how you know this is the end, because this devil had to be revealed in this time, man. He been revealed, man, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemal Rashad, man. He been revealed, man. Yeah. The men of the Lord, man. Hey, right? Bible Rashad. And, and then, all um, the elders apostles going down to us, bro. And then, right. uh, more, more proof about this damn, um, about the Roman community in life, because what do you still see to this day? Like, even that, that clock right there, you got uh, Roman, Roman numerals, man. Exactly. Right? When you look at the Super Bowls, for example, they always using like Roman characters, man. Right, they, right. Up, um, it says uh, right. Uh, Roman um, inventions that still impact the day. Of course, Roman numerals. Like I say, you still see people still see people using Roman numerals. Um, the, the forms of newspapers. It said arcs in the building structures because the same building infrastructure of uh, uh, the Roman uh, 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 the days of the uh, Roman captivity. Like it's the same thing going on right now, man. Back across the street. Yeah. That building. Yeah, that building yeah, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Brother Shaw's painting the camera on that. Look at that building. Look at that. It says the Bank of uh, Sumter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look out, look at the columns. Look yeah. how it's built. Yeah. yeah. Just Sumter. like how the how the uh, the uh, you know the uh, infrastructure was during the Roman Empire, man. Right. When the time of the Romans was uh, ruling. This ain't nothing but the same thing over and over, man. Like look at that right? thing. Centennial. Isn't that there? Look at that, that clock right there, got yep. Roman numerals on it. Yeah. It's all Roman shit around Yeah, it, but man. you uh, the Super Bowl, hey, those two stadiums uh, that they playing in are nothing but those ancient coliseums, coliseums that they had bro. back in the huh, back bro. in the day when they had exactly. two. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to say sports yeah. itself. Yeah, sports itself. Yeah, like the gladiators bro. coming back, mm -hmm. everything's reincarnated. Like I said, I was showing. It. I'm gonna put an image up there. This right here, Petra, right here. There you have Show it. Show it. Yeah, show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. I was thinking that too. Yeah, it do look like Petra. Petra. Show you. Yeah, he saw goddamn um handiwork right here, man. Show this right here, America, right here, man. This Rome all over again, man. Hey, the Lord gave us certain hints and signs to let us know who this goddamn devil is. Man. Yeah, right, he gave us certain feet. signs. Hold on, hold on. He gave us certain hits, hits, man. Oh, yeah, the guy to let us know oh, who's in power. Oh, look at it. Look at his. Look at look at his characteristics, man. Right? Look at the, the characteristics of the so-called white man. Yeah, That's all you gotta do is pay attention, man. Yeah, yeah. this whole setup with the American government when it comes to their politics, ain't nothing but the, the offshoot yeah. of Rome. There you go. Yeah. Okay, when it comes to the Democrats and the Republicans. Yeah. They did yep. the same thing the back then. The and the uh, Patricians, yeah. yeah. The Senate House and all that, bro. Yeah. That's right. That's right. God, um, hey, let like pretty say, man, hey, they tell it on their own self, man. Yep. Hey, this song 64 and 8. So they should make their own tone to fall upon them. <laughs> yeah. All that see them should yeah, flee away. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Hey, like that book that I just God, brought out, yeah. man. Their own tongue falling upon hey, themselves. Bring that book back out again. And, uh, they are, their own tongue falling upon themselves. It should be like right there. They own tongues Shalom. falling upon Shalom. themselves, man. Hey, Shalom, man. Shalom, Shalom, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, Shalom yeah. to the cheerleaders, man. To the cheerleaders, <laughs> man. <laughs> to the chili. Hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, hey, read that. Hey, bring it back out again, Barbara. Yeah, Michelle. Bring it back out again. That's a beautiful precept right they there. Bring it back out again. Brother. Themselves, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You got your Bible, too. It's out of it. Um, huh? The nation of Edom, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, show sure, right. Hey, this sure, is right, Psalms 64 and 8. This mm -hmm. says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. There you go. They shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves, man. Hey, the Lord put the Spirit. Or other Edomites to come up with books like that exposing them. You got these uh, so called truthers that are coming out exposing the wickedness of this goddamn devil, man. Right? Hey, that's all through, and that's all biblical prophecy. The Lord is putting the spirit 
on these damn devils to tell on themselves, man. Right. Right? Continue on. They said all that see them shall flee away. Right. So, I got a, another quick one. <coughs> this is Joe. Uh, you want to bring that out first? You uh, found it. Come on, come on, come on. Let me bring this out first. Come because on. Uh, as, as the preset brothers read in songs, man, these even might tell on themselves, man. And, and we were talking about this last night, too. Uh, now, this is the, um, the Bible Compact Dictionary. And who wrote this book, man? Esau. Esau. Historians of so-called biblical historians of biblical scholars of Edomites. Man. Yep. All right. All right. Now, when because you go really, a lot of these devils, they look at themselves as uh, as Jacob, and they look at uh, uh, these so-called Zionists. All right, the so-called uh, Jews, so to speak, as our Edom. Mm -hmm. But no, all you goddamn devils are Edom. That's right. Your line right. goes back to being uh, Edomite, right? All y'all are devils, man. Mm -hmm. All y'all line go back to uh, Edom, man, right? But see, they in their mind, they was they was trying to expose them, but the Lord put the spirit on them, pretty much you exposing your own goddamn selves, <laughs> man. Hey, uh, that, that damn speech, uh, one of the last speeches Malcolm X ever did, he did a speech, you know, pretty much the valley of the dry bones. Yeah. Yeah. Which he pretty much going into knowing that he's a Hebrew Israelite. Yep, and then he made a comment of you damn Edomites where he was saying, hey, you know, you could be a damn German Shepherd, a Rockwell, a goddamn Poodle, and it's still dogs at the end right. of the damn day. It's right. still goddamn dogs, they're different That's lines, right. but it's still, it's still dogs at the end of the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? He so you still a goddamn wicked, man. Right. You damn American Edomites over here. Right. You Edomites over there in Europe. You goddamn Edomites over there in goddamn Russia. Edomites over there in Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? You know, Edomites. Edomites over there in the land of Israel today. Right, that's right. You know? All right, all right. you still Edomites at the end of the day because what the fuck your ass say? If your bloodline goes back to Edom, hey man, you Edomite, man. All right? And like I said, too, let me say this too. It ain't all about a color thing neither, man. It's right. a bloodline right. thing, man. Right. So you got you got chocolate Edomites out here, yeah, man. That's right. The same way you got some of them damn small hats, they line go back to Israel, man. They may look like an Edomite, but they bloodline goes back to Israel, man. as the scene of future judgment, as, as, as the scene of great future judgment. See, it didn't say, see notably Isaiah 34 and 5, uh, 6, 6, 3 and 1. It says, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from your house. Hey, hey, no, matter of fact, read it again, Barbara Shaw. Read it one more time, Barbara Shaw. All right, it says, Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of the great future judgment. All right, and it says, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from Yahweh. Hey, let me, let's, get in, let's get in the scriptures, man. So that showed you right there. In order to tell a lie, you must know the truth. Know the truth. Hey, matter of fact, matter of fact. All right, let me read this right here. Let me read this right here real quick. Then we're going to prove another point. You saw the goddamn devil. All right, uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. Hey, read, 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 read that Edom, Edomite uh, definition one more time. Bro. All right, it says Edom figures prominently in the uh, 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 figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgment. So, that, so Vocal Malone, even your own people, man, they know that Esau is gonna get his future judgment. Right. They know that Esau's still alive. That Esau still exists, man. Right. Esau ain't been done away with, man. Esau got to serve his thousand years of captivity and slavery upon the nation of Israel along with the other heathen nations, man. And hardcore slavery at that. We gonna be nice to these fucking devils, man. Hardcore slavery at that. And after a thousand years, hey man, they gonna be demolished, man. They gonna be, uh, they gonna be uh, exterminated, exterminated. Man, as a nation of people, man. All right, you know? But hey, what, 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 these devils nice to us, man? That's captivity. Man, hell nah, man. Fuck. Nah, so, nah, so nah, are nah. we gonna be nice to them? No, nah, not nah. at all, man. Is, nah. that, is, that, is that a nice act? Try to get the Negro, Latino, Native American to be the first one in line to take the goddamn jump shot. Absolutely. And you not. know, and you know what's in the damn jump shot? We got that right. little that girl is poison. The right. goddamn girl is poison up in the damn jump shot and shit. But they want us to be the first ones to take right. that shit. That's Come hate. On, man. That's, That's hate. hate. That, 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 that show hatred right there. Hebrew 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his, sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. 
There you go. For he found no place of repentance, though he saw mm. it carefully mm. with tears. So the devil can't fucking repent, man. Right. So the devil is fucking destroyed at the end of the day or whatnot. Right. His judgment is already written, man. Yeah, All right, he's going to be exterminated at the end of the day, man, by Yahweh Shemah and by the hands of Israel, man. All right, you know? So this devil can't get out of judgment. And he let you know that, man. So in order for him to know that he's an Edomite, and go back to Ham, look at that definition of Ham. So, so for him to know who he is, God damn it, he damn should know who the hell your ass is, man. All right, but, that, but that's, that's how the devil do you, though, man. All right, so, so we ain't no damn African Americans, man. Uh, Jesse, uh, uh, Justin, uh, Justin, uh, I'm sorry, call you Justin Malone, man. All right, you, yeah, you yeah. married to vocab Malone. Call you Justin uh, Malone, man. All right, like I said, we gotta respect you, nigga. Uh, go ahead, uh. Now, I'm reading the definition for uh, Ham. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says, um, the youngest brother of Noah, uh -huh. born probably about 96 years before the and flood. And these are the real ham mites right here, right. man. The damn motherfuckers be putting bones in their damn nose and shit. Putting the goddamn fucking brass plates in their fucking mouth and shit. You, you know what I'm saying? They, they just sit up there and circumcise. They circumcise their goddamn woman. All right? You know, they put their head up a cow ass and shit. Yeah. Then that's some type of anointment. They lay they lay in the bed of cow shit. Yeah. All right? They, they, they have sex with alligators and shit. Yeah, they, they ham mice, man, hanging from trees and shit. Hey, that's the real Curious George right there. Right. Them the real Curious right. George right there, man. Hey, they're they're the original sodomites. Ri original right. sodomites, man. That's right, but the real sodomites. Because hey, when you think about him, what was he doing, man? He, he looking at his father uh, naked, Yeah, man. looking at his father yeah. Rod. Yeah, they're they, they yeah, going to show you how bugged out. And what, 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 what did uh, Shem and, and Jaffa did? Man, they, they walked in there backwards. They walked backwards. They didn't even look at their father. Come on. Ham, woo, look at Yeah, Being got goddamn old. Fucking sodomite, man. Weirdos. A damn, hey, how they look? What they look? Edomite commercial, that damn Dr. Pimple. But look, Edom might act like he got damn prince. This is oh, the yeah. sweet oh, one. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. sweet <laughs> one. You know what I'm saying? Ham, the original sweet one and shit. Right. He the original Lil Nas X, man. Right. Go ahead, brother. Uh, getting back in his definition in the Zonovan uh, Bible Dictionary about uh -huh. Ham. Yep. It says uh, Ham. It says Ham, uh -huh. the youngest son of Noah, mm -hmm. born probably 96 years before the flood, uh -huh. and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. Uh -huh. He became the progenitor of the dark races. He's the what? He became the progenitor of the dark races, Go ahead. not the Negroes. Whoa. Go ahead, read again. He became Ham. He became the the progenitor of the dark races, uh -huh. not the Negroes. What? But, okay, it says not the, the Negroes. Okay. So, so, so Esau already know it. Right. It's a, he know how to de differentiate yeah. you Negroes from the damn Hamites. Right. right. So right. he know you a Hebrew Israelite. Right. Man. Even though he didn't write that in the damn go um, Zonovan Bible Combat Bible Dictionary, he the goddamn devil. He not. He ain't supposed to tell you uh, who you are, man. Right. Or who your nationality who is or whatnot, right. man. Right. That's why Yahweh Shemashah had to set up the prophets of the nation of Israel, man, to reclaim back our heritage, man. All right, right you know, and to give you that warning and to tell you who, who we are, to come back to Yahweh Shemashah. No, you're not a Negro. No, you're not a, a Latino. No, you're not a Native American. You're a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. Right, you know? Right. And that's who Yahweh Shemashah coming back to deliver, and that's to, and starting with the, the elect, man. Right. You know, the elect, right. the elect, right. you know? right. and that's who Yahweh Shemashah coming back to deliver, and that's to, and starting with the elect, and that's to, and starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, not no goddamn Christians, nigga. Right. Right. Now, hey, then it, hey, the scripture, I mean, this, this definition just gets straight to the point, man. Because it says, not the Negroes, mm -hmm. but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians. Oh, niggas want to be Egyptians, though. There you go. They have a niggas want to prescribe to, Yes, man. it is. I, I'm, I, you know? I, I'm, my people go back to being uh, Ethiopians right. and all this. But the scriptures, I mean, it's, the definition is saying what? But it says, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, mm -hmm. the, the Ethiopians, mm -hmm. the Libyans, the Canaanites. Mm -hmm. His identity when his but, father but, laid but you know what? But you know what? But you know what? Jay, Jay got to hit with going a little, man. Jay, a hey, little Jay clap. Hey, man. But see, goddamn, little Jay made me damn lose my goddamn train of thought. Now, go ahead. <laughs> hey, let's go, man. Yeah, come back to the The scripture, I mean, the definition, it tells the Negroes that what? You're not so called Egyptians. You're not uh, Libya. You're not from Libya. Because, you know, you got a lot of people going to Ancestry.com and be like, oh, man, my roots go back to uh, Egyptian customs. And you still see Jay get to that hotel mentality. But, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, front table, front table. See, in order for two third niggas to bleed, they gotta have their daddy Esau to tell them that. Yeah, right. Esau was up here, Bill Gates, a uh, goddamn Bi dead ass Biden, buckhead, blockhead Biden, come up there and tell you, Sleepy Joe, you know, Sleepy <laughs> Sloppy Joe right. and shit. He come up there, uh, 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 the weekend with Bernie, the weekend with Bernie, aka Joe Biden ass. You know, if he tell you that you a god chosen to be Negro Latin Native American, you niggas will bleed that then. 
know? No, we said we'll give a damn about you two thirds. Right. Man, hell with two thirds. Hey, fight, you know? fight a Marshall Biden. Yeah, yeah, fight him. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we go back and we ever finish that song. No, I don't think we finished that song 147, 19 and 20, man. Kind of, I still got you. <laughs> well, um, I'll grab this real quick. Go ahead. This is Joe, chapter 15, verse 5. Oh, For thy mouth of thy iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Thy own mouth condemn thee, Ooh. and not thy, yea, thy own lips testify against thee. Uh, the the, the uh, Bible contact this in the dictionary told you uh, about the true history of who the hell Mike saw. Yeah. Who the his Mike saw when it comes to the so-called Nicholas tribe of Judah. Okay, and, uh, and about who the Edomites saw today. Okay, ba ba basically saying that Edomites are still in this So that's their own mouth for Jimmy the old man. Uh, they're blessing that to play that out. Yeah. And currently that's what we're in. We're, we're living in the time of their blessing, but, but now we have the, the uh, we're at the time we're at the end of their blessing. That's right. right? That's, that's right. why they yeah, that's, that's why they bugging out. That's why they trying to uh, come in with the uh, NWO. And now they actually saying it, man. Yeah. He's saying Biden, yeah. he just Biden, had one of his last speeches. Yeah. One of his last speeches. He just said New World Order, that's man. That's right. You had a brother. You had the elder brother uh, Garothasar from Vegas. He had a video that he posted on his channel. Where's a, compil a compilation of all these different government officials uh, speaking, uh, talking about the new world order, man? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so what you uh, so-called people got to say when you uh, when you talk about so-called conspiracy theories? And what y'all got to say? They, they, they speaking about and it. Then, and then also too, I think when this damn devil made his damn speech, I think it was like around the same time when you had uh, George W. Senior Bush. You had Senior Bush when he was making a statement going all the way back. 32 years ago, talking about the One World Order. And I think it was like from the, the same date when Biden made his goddamn speech talking about the New World Order and whatnot, man. But we know the devil deal with symbolism and, and numbers and all that yeah, shit or whatever, man. You know, numerology yeah. and all that yeah. shit, man. Because yeah. they trying to be like the most high because yeah. the most high yeah. is all about uh, numerology and, and numeric value yeah. and all of that, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. Now, this is um, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. And it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that the well in them, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath. Yeah, yeah, he will come down with that goddamn fucking great wrath, man. He saw ain't fucking playing no goddamn yeah. more, man. Yeah. He saw gonna have that mentality get down and lay down, man. Yep. Hey, that's what the hour temptation is all about at the end of the day, man. All right, and only the elect. That's how you gonna know who the chosen is in that day and that time, man. You got a lot of these damn fake niggas up there wanna wanna wanna, wanna BS, wanna wanna damn party, wanna make this truth. A goddamn party, wanna make it a social club and shit. Hey man, that day and that time, a lot of you niggas go, how about you, my shotgun expose you damn niggas, man. All right, you know? Yeah. And that day and that time, now, you know what I'm saying, with the hour of temptation, you know what I'm saying, you you ain't got, you only got two choices, man. Either you gonna totally believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah and have your, your faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, you gonna be just be no damn word of mouth, all right, you know what I'm saying? Cause you can't buy or sell unless you got. Esau's yeah. mark, man. Yeah. All right, which, which you know is the chip, bro. You know what I'm saying? Esau, he gonna come to you. Hey, either gonna take the chip or he gonna put your ass a goddamn devil, man. So you got a choice, man. You gonna trust in your house about shot or you gonna trust in Esau? The men of the Lord gonna trust in your house about shot, man. Right. Right. Even to death at the end of the goddamn day, man. Right. And your house about shot told us that, man. Because most I got a reward, but the men of the Lord won't give a damn. We won't give a damn about our life on the side. Like Edel Pascal Ball always say, man, we ain't living no damn way. Right. Exactly, All right. Man. Hey, somebody give me a hold that. Bring out Revelation 2 and 10, bro. Revelation 2 and 10, this man. This ain't living. You know, this ain't no fucking living, man. All right, well, first of all, man, you ain't even breathing goddamn fucking fresh air. Oh. You ain't drinking no fucking fresh water. You ain't eating no goddamn real food. You constantly being motherfucking oppressed on all motherfucking sides, man. By your woman, by your own people. Of course, Esau ass and whatnot. You write unrighteous decrees and shit and whatnot, man. Okay, all right? Go ahead, bro. This is the book of uh, uh, Revelation chapter uh, 2, verse 10. All right, getting straight to the point, written in red. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Hey, the brother just read what it was, Revelation 12 and 12, man. He saw coming down with that great rap. Right. Hey, man, you two-third niggas, hey, y'all gonna punk out, man. We ain't worried about no damn Esau, man. Fuck Esau, man. Because we know ultimately, Yahweh Shema was shot. They ain't Esau chip. That's Yahweh Shema was shot yep. chip at the end of the day, man. Right. All, all the doings are the most high, man. Yep. All the will, you know what I'm saying, Esau doing the will uh, uh, Esau doing the will of Yahweh Shema on the left hand side, man. right? All right, at the end of the day. And plus, hey, if that's our lot, 
hey, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shema Shah didn't give us that much where we can't bear at the end of the day. The most high is just balance, man. So for certain brothers that gotta be martyrs, guess what? You able to deal with that, man. That's Cause right. that's your portion at the end of the day, man. Most high not gonna give you nothing more than what you can see at the end of the day, man. All right? Most high just balance. Go ahead, brother. Right, Revelation chapter two. Verse 10, it says, uh -huh. fear none of those things. Hey, when the most I started off, he said, fear none of those right. things, man. Right. Hell with Esau, man. Right. And you supposed to fear your how about Shema was shot? That's right. right. Who can kill the body and the spirit at the end of the day? You saw just kill your damn body, man. That's it, man. That's it, bro. All right. Go ahead, bro. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, it says. And then you got to realize, going back in Daniels 4 and 17, your how about Shema was shot, ruler in the kingdom of men at the end of the day, man. That no faggot ass Esau, man. All right, even though he think he is or whatnot. But so I only gave this damn devil a uh, amount of time, a certain amount, a certain portion of time to fucking rule, man. Now his goddamn time is fucking up because he's being right. fucking revealed, man. Yeah. All right, you yeah. know? Uh, Job 14 and 5 uh, tells you about how the Lord uh, determined his, uh, his wow. rulership. Yeah. Uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? The mm -hmm. Lord got a set time for this devil to fall, and we're coming to that point, man. Mm -hmm. We're coming to you, that point where the devil's about to uh, okay. fall, okay. man. Yeah, right. Yeah. Even right Go ahead, Go ahead bro. Right now. This is Job chapter 14 verse 5 Seeing his days are determined yeah. The number of his months are with thee yep. mm -hmm. Thou hast appointed his bounds That he cannot pass Right, so this devil He's not going to go a second A tenth of a second A, milli, a millisecond or whatever Pass the time that right. the Lord has set for him to rule, man That's right No matter how much this devil tries to prolong it what he, Whatever he's trying to do He's doing the will of the Lord anyways right. He's playing right into the hands of the Lord, man Right, and when that time that the Lord has set, when that time approaches, hey, that's when you're going to see Yahweh Shah crack them clouds, man. That's right. Because that's the end game for this damn devil, man. That's right. Yahweh Shah going to come back and physically take you devils out of power that's right. along with the 144,000, man. That's right. That's right? right. Going to go round you devils up, man, that's beginning right. with your elites, man. That's right. And that's going to be the end of it. That's right, brother. Hey, hey, that's that right. the spirit just now. Because soon the brother be like, hey, the Lord got that appointed time that you came bound, and you hear the church um, bear start chomping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. That's that's right, man. That's right, spirit. <laughs> and if I could quickly say, and you can tell this time is almost up because uh, prophecy is being finished heavily uh, for the past couple of the years, man. And it's, it's going to keep pushing until Big Brother Yahweh shot come back. Man. Yeah, they're growing now. That's right, that's right. Yeah, Revelation 2 back at our Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, it says, Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. The devil, man, which is which is deceiving, man. Right. Matter of fact, to prove that, man. Somebody look at that word devil in Revelation 2 and 10, man. So they, so they don't say we're making it up, man. All right, yeah. you know? And then plus for edification scene, right, right? You may have Jake waking up for the first time, man, and watching the videos and whatnot. Edification scene. Cause that's what we do right here, man. Great meals, so on the elder apostles going down. Hey, we look words up over here, man. Unlike certain camps, man. That's why they get all mixed up. You know, they talk about John 3.16, man. They think, think talking about the whole damn world, man. That's why they get mixed up when they don't go into the word Mark in Revelation 13 and 16. They talking about Mark is a damn embargo. Talking about it represent uh, Christianity, uh, sleeping with a goddamn white woman, man. Like I say, niggas just be fucking freestyling, man. Right? That's that's why I was apostle called some of you niggas going back to one west. That's why I was apostle always call you niggas 1992 Israelites, man. Because you damn niggas ain't grown since 1992, man. All right, go ahead, bro. All right. Revelation chapter two, verse ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer." Go ahead. Behold the devil. Uh -huh. the definition. Right, according to the uh, definition for the word devil, it goes into the uh, word diabolos, right, which means, I got a, a few definitions. It says prone to slander, slanderous. Ooh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on now, hold on slander, now. Okay. Slander, hey, let's check it out, brother. Hey, let's check it out. What Esau called, what Esau, first of all, Esau called us the black Hebrew Israelites. Right. Do you see the word black Hebrew Israelites in that Bible? No, you don't. Hey, no yeah, way. I no see way, the Hebrew bro. Israelites, but I don't see no black yeah. Hebrew Israelites. Then Esau called us what? A goddamn hate. A hate group. It's not. It's not that goddamn oh, slander all right there. Slander, oh, 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 oh! Check it out. Check it out. Esau, he compares the Hebrew Israelites to the KKK. Right. Now we it's know slander. that the KKK is known for killing, lynching, burning crosses, and, 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 and Jake. And, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oppressing and killing Jake and shit, burning crosses in the yard. Hide their Show me and hiding their face. Right. What Hebrew right. Israelite? What Hebrew Israelites? You know, went around putting crosses. In goddamn crackers yard, man. Right. What Hebrew Israelites? Show me some pretty, show me some fucking evidence. Esau, bring some goddamn receipt of go. some Hebrew Israelites lynching goddamn Esau, man. All right? Show, show, show where the pictures at, man. Right, you where know what where the evidence at, man. All right? 
go ahead, bro. Now you, now you might have Esau try to set up some bugged out Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he might, he might try to do some shit. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, Cause that's might, the times we in now. They gotta yeah. try to, they gotta try to, you know, set us up <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Hey, right? But that, but that, right. but that falls into the category as well as falls into accusing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So it says prongs and slander, slanderous, mm -hmm. accusing falsely. Mm -hmm. It says false accuser. Now here goes the point. Well, one of the main points. Metaphorically, it says apply to a man. Ooh. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh, you see can you that? put that in the camera right you there, bro? Just so, just so you know, we ain't, we ain't bullshitting, nope, man. Ain't no freestyle, right? Ain't no freestyle, ain't no, like no freestyle. Um, G O C C. Over there. Right. You see? It says metaphorically, speaking about the word devil. Mm -hmm. It says metaphorically applied to a man mm -hmm. who, by opposing the cause of the Most High, mm -hmm. may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him, man. So that lets you know that when it speaks about the devil, it's talking about a certain man. Right? It's talking about a certain, a certain man that's going to be following the ways of Satan. Mm -hmm. Right? So who is that man that it's talking about, man? Right? The, uh, who, uh, the elites. All right? Beginning with them, trickling all the way down to a peon ass in the mic. A peon cracker, man. They are the devil. Right? Yo, if your bloodline goes back to being Esau, Edom, whether, no matter how you look, if your bloodline goes back to being Esau, Edom, or Edomite, and you are of that line, you are, you are uh, of the devil. You're of the wicked, that That's wicked right. seed line That's that right. the Lord uh, established, man. Hey, right? hey, hey, we always got to go back. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we always, uh, you know what I'm saying, talk about the little um, interview with Alice Jones, when you had Alice Jones right. and the Edomite woman. Right. And what did it, it, what, it, 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 it get that response when the Edomite woman had told Alice Jones, when she hey. was going into the history of you so-called white people? Well, she, what called, she, said? she said, she said, yeah, they have their bloodthirsty Edomites. Right. That's what she said, man. Right, and she was referring to herself. Mm -hmm. She was referring to Alex Jones' crazy bugged out ass. <laughs> right, even though, even though, even though he didn't really want to touch on that, right. uh, he was agreeing right. with her. Uh -huh. But he ain't saying nothing about Edomite. Anybody who don't know what an right. Edomite is, they would have had some questions. Right, they would have right. been like Edomite. Well, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. He can, you can you elaborate? Can you elaborate on that? Can you elaborate? Yeah, he didn't do none of that. Yeah, he was like, damn, she done, she done called us out. Mm. Let me see if I can. Hey, I if I can. hey, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. He did a LeBron James when you know I was going back to the barbershop a couple of years ago when they had Tremont Green right. when right. Tremont Green was making some statements. He was like, "Hey, the reason why so-called black people are in the situation that they're in today because they don't know who they are, yep. but but they know who we are." Yep. And you see LeBron James. Uh, yep. Like, yeah. like nigga, nigga, you better not say. Hey, 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 when that camera went off LeBron, when that camera went off LeBron, and, and LeBron looking at Tremont Green. <laughs> you know he did. Last time you put his episode, nigga. You know he did. That shit out. What's the last time? You know he did. You know he did. Man. Hey, when it done. Bro. Bro. <laughs> What's the last time? Cause all, cause, cause, cause let's let's be honest, man. All them niggas, all them guys in sports and entertainment, whatever they know about the Hebrew Israelites. That's right, brother. That's right. If right, one brother. know, all of them know. All man. of them know about it. Right. All of them know about it. That's right, brother. Uh -huh. All right, you got uh, back at that Revelation chapter uh, two and ten, I'm gonna finish yeah. it off. Uh -huh. All right, I got hey, cause you seen a uh, dude walk, took, taking pictures, man. I seen oh, you guys word. taking pictures, but yeah, man. Look at that agent, man. But yeah. hey, curse is man. Cool, you know, man. you know what, man? He probably a fucking funny bunny or something. Man. Gun, a little Nas yeah. X nigga, man. Go ahead, Gun. brother. Let that be a curse to him, yeah, man. That's a curse to his ass, man. Gun. All right, go ahead, hey, this brother. This is uh, back at Revelation chapter two and ten. It says, uh -huh. "Fear none of those things." Which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil. All right, now we gotta understand who the devil is, mm -hmm. right? Right. But see, cause see, see them, some of these damn clown ass niggas don't know what they involved exactly. in at the end of the exactly. day, man. All right. And like, like I said, you Sakari clowns out there. You know what that damn nigga name was? Uh, uh, uh what, what? Um, Deacon Hakar. Right. Made a statement. Man, you mess up the name of car, nigga. <laughs> mess up the name of car, man. All right. You the wicked of car. All right. right. But any damn way, <laughs> fucked up name. Have me hating to have that damn name of car. <laughs> fucked up your asses, nigga. But any goddamn way, but anyway, he made a damn statement when you had, you know what I'm saying, younger brothers, they're, they're not great millstone, but they follow great millstone. They follow great millstone. And you know, you had an unruly Mexican, he ain't no, I ain't gonna call him this a car, a fucking Mexican yeah, shit, and shit. Yeah, he, got, he, he got wet back, he got offended, and he pushed one of the brothers, right? And you know, you know, the, hey, you know, brothers, I mean, you know, Bro, and, and the brothers, they seen it, and they were young brothers, and they gonna grow from that. All of us gonna grow from that experience. Yeah, yeah, All right. of us gonna grow yeah, from that experience. Right. Brothers already made videos, so I ain't really gotta say too much on that. But the point of the matter is, you had Deacon the car made a statement, hey, that what y'all get for following a punk ass camp and shit or whatnot. Right. You feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But see, let's see how tough this clown is, cause we spiritual men at the end of the day. Right. And like El Apostle Ricard said, you think we punks? Roll up on us, you think we right. punks, man. Roll up yeah. on us, man. All right? right? But anyway, we ain't getting caught. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But the point, the point of the matter is, we want to see what 
Deacon or Carl going to do in that day and that time, but he saw rolling his ass. You still going to be, you're going to be like that Mr. T. I pity the fool. I pity right. the fool. Right. So you still got that same energy, nigga. Right. All right, them niggas going to be fucking folded, man. Right. In that day and that damn time, man. All right? Right, because because right now everything should is still sweet. Right. So right, yeah, you can right. go on social media and try to flex and say all this and that. Mm -hmm. What y'all gonna do when the Lord turn that heat up, man? Them niggas is like rappers, man. Right. You know rappers be rapping, yeah, nigga. I'm right. gang, gang. I got right. the blanky, baby. I got my blanky. Okay. I'm, gonna, right. I'm gonna spin the block. But then when it's time for the niggas to do something, time for them niggas to roll out. They like, they like why? They like Lucci. They like uh, what that nigga name? That uh, the, the nigga that was dating uh Lil Wayne's daughter. What that damn rapper? Why up in Lucci? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why up in Lucci? What, what's going on with YF and Lucci right now? That nigga, he telling the goddamn, um, you know what I'm saying, he writing a damn letter saying he got to get out of jail because he's scared for his life. He got stabbed while he was in jail. Mm. But he supposed to be a goddamn thug. Why right. F. Lucci talk about Shit gunning people real. down. He talking about putting, you know, walking down on a nigga. When he said they walking down on a nigga, they mean to walk up on you and put them things in your ass and shit. That what he said he about, that what he rap about and shit. Right. Now this damn nigga crying, talking about he afraid, he fearful of his fucking life in right. jail and shit, man. Yeah, All right, his life is off. damn threat. Tell me he got, he tell me he need to get up out of that damn jailhouse, man. But, but he supposed to be tough, though. Right. supposed to be a tough guy, though. Yeah. You let him tell it. I just watched a nigga, you know, I was listening to a nigga rap. I thought a nigga, he, he looked the part. I thought a nigga was like that for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but lo and behold, hell, man, when I seen that, I'm like, oh, this nigga is a fake rapper like the rest of them niggas, man. They rap about that gang shit. But then when it come down to it, them niggas ain't about what they rap about at the end of the day. They're just like fucking uh, NWA, man. All, you know, back in the day, you thought all NWA was fucking gangster rappers and shit, man. Not knowing all them niggas wasn't even about that shit. All them right. niggas, niggas were fucking soft as cotton, man. Yep. The, the only real one was goddamn Easy e man. He was the only real one, man. You know? You got but, a bunch of CB4 niggas. Yeah, CB4. Here, but going back, the Deacon her car, he supposed to be a tough guy. You supposed to be a tough guy. We gonna see how tough you be when Esau come for your ass, man. Yeah. Right? See, so you still had that same energy, man. Go ahead, bro. All right, Revelation uh, 2 and uh, 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, Behold, the devil shall cast some of some of you into prison. And we know the devil. We talking about fucking Esau, man. Right, right. right. So called right. white man. All right. right. And okay. it's important, like how we broke that down through the spirit, because you still have the simple of our people that actually would think the damn devil would be a person with a trident, red, and red suit, yeah, yeah, that's escorting what they you the dog. If you act, if you ask goddamn fucking Justin, damn Francis, this stupid right. ass. If you ask him who the devil is, he gonna tell you that, man. Right. He tell, he tell you devil underground, Satan underground. Right. Or he'll tell you, Satan, he, he probably still tell you, uh, Satan fight with the Lord and shit, man. Right. The devil fight with the Lord in the heavens, man. You know, he'll tell you, oh, Satan, he you know, he was he, he was the most beautiful angel at one time. Yeah. He was the most beautiful angel yeah, yeah, and show yeah, that yeah. fairy tale shit, man. He got kicked out. <laughs> right. You know, he was playing the harp and he yeah. got kicked out. He tried to sneak, he tried to sneak the most high, he tried to put the most high in his chokehold yeah. for the back and shit. Yeah. Those right. crazy niggas, going man. To, uh, start going into, uh, yeah, you know, the Nephilim. Going yeah. to the far oh, yeah, end. Yeah, he believe in that yeah. shit too. See, see? That shit too. Hey, well, that ain't no surprise. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you Christians is bugged the fuck out, man. <laughs> that's why That's why the Lord got the prophets out here, man. You hey, dumb right, ass right, niggas, right, man. Right, right, right. Bugged right. the fuck out, man. We gonna say it just like that, man. We hey, ain't being nice no hey, goddamn hey, boy, man. Well, fuck you God. niggas, man. Y'all hey, niggas ain't important. right, man. This is why I'm poor, why, uh, why oh, I'm poor to the elders and why we gotta stress that, uh, the poets are looking up words. But let me finish this on now that we got a clear understanding who the devil is in this verse. I always say side is children, bro. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Hey, them concentration camps, man. All right, they right there around the corner. See, you niggas just make fun of the elders' apostles back in the damn day when they were going into the martial yeah. law, going into concentration camp. Now you damn niggas, where, where the scoffers at now, man? All right, where the scoffers? We don't, we don't see y'all niggas no damn right. more, man. All right? All right. And we, and we further much know that the devil, hey, this Esau can, can cast you into prison because where Esau had your ass in the house during the so-called uh, right. pandemic. Right. Y'all niggas couldn't right. go nowhere, man. Yep. So the devil's already flexing his bullshit ass, little skimpy ass muscle back then, man. And hey, niggas were bugged out. Niggas were getting yeah. bugged out. Murder niggas were losing their damn mind. Yeah. Murder rate was going up. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas were having violence. goddamn mental breakdowns yeah. and shit. Especially the nigga woman, man. She couldn't get out and, and get get and, and get a get all get a whore no more. Yeah. Couldn't shake her ass and shit. Oh, that's, all, that's, that's all you, you nigga know? women is known for twerking and shaking your big asses, man. Yeah. That's all y'all known for, man. Hey, they're constantly talking about the trace counts. They coming, man. Hey, you just I had recently with at the Super Bowl the subliminal message, the whole performance at the Super Bowl with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and all of them, and they were performing on that. That, that big ass building, that long ass building. Yeah. But actually, that was a, uh, that was a concentration yeah, it was like camp. A prison, man. Yeah, it was yeah. all in yeah. khakis and all yeah. white. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 Cause you actually look
that type of building, that layout, and that goes back into a concentration yeah, camp, yeah, showing that they coming, man. Yeah, because he's always put his symbolism right in, right in front of your uh, your face. Right. Because right. you had you had the St. Louis Rams win the Super Bowl. Los oh, Angeles Rams. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 the Los Angeles Rams now. Right. Excuse me. You had the Los Angeles Rams. They just won the Super Bowl. Right. But look at their colors. Mm -hmm. yep. they're, they're blue and yellow, and then and, 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 and the same as the Ukrainian flag. And all yeah, of a sudden, right. they, in, they in the news and all of that, man. man it's all propaganda. It's, 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 it's showing show you that sports and all that shit fixed, man. Yeah, yeah. It's sports, really, all man. that shit fixed. All that like, shit yeah, we, fucking rigged, man. Like, we get into it. Yeah. You know, we, we like to watch the competition, but mm -hmm. we know it's rigged, man. Yeah, at the end yeah. Of the day. Uh -huh. right. Any damn thing dealing with Esau, you know, it ain't gonna be legit no damn way, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't gonna be right when we're dealing with Esau, man. All right. Uh, finishing it off, Revelation uh, uh, 2 and uh, 10, it says, uh, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. Mm -hmm. And that's the hour of temptation, yeah. man. You're going to be tried, bro. When that devil going to force you to try to take that goddamn, going to yep. try to take you, take, force you to take that mark, man. Okay? And that's time we coming in. And that's what we're supposed to be prophesied yep. and giving that warning so Jake can already get spiritually prepared, man. All right? To be trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Not in this goddamn system, man. Esau, man. All right? Yeah. You know? Uh, uh, behold, yeah, the devil. Like, yeah, your gas fucked up. Yeah, your gas fucked up, bro. Behold, Revelation 2 and uh, 10, uh, the half point one, it says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, mm -hmm. that ye may be tried, mm -hmm. and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Mm -hmm. And 10 days, that's just a number of days, man. It don't right. necessarily mean no actual 10 days, man. Right. You're going to be in there a week and three days and shit. All right, go ahead. Whatever the Lord got set yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah, um, there you go. You know, set for you. Yep. you know, it could be a day, two days, three right. days. It could literally be 10 days. Right. Hey, it's whatever the Lord got laid out for you. That's right, right also brother. also say you're going to be tried. That's talking about going into the testing. Yeah. Gonna be, okay. And all of it is going to be a test, man. Mm. Right. Everybody's about to be tested, man. Mm. Right. We're going to be tested, right? You know, the elect is going to be tested. Lord, where we are that number? Hey, but guess what? You uh, you two-thirds, all you, you scoffers, just everybody going to be tested, man. Hey, but check it out, though, brother. Because y'all about your shy. You know what I'm saying? He compared the elect to, you know what I'm saying, to precious stone. Right. And, and precious is gold, right? That's right. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't you got to take that gold to that fire, bro? That's right. Get all the permanent? Purify it. And purify it, right? Process, and I would tell you, so we got to go through it, man. Got to go through it. Got to go through it, man. Because see, you see, goddamn fucking, um, keep getting this nigga name, man. Uh, Justin. Justin, man. That nigga still believing in the goddamn rapture, man. Right. He be teaching the rapture and all that bullshit and whatnot. Real quick. Man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Real quick. This is uh, Zecha, uh, Ze Zechariah. Chapter 13, verse 9, mm -hmm. and I will bring the third part. This is uh -huh. going to the elect. Go ahead, bro. It says, yeah. and I will bring the third part through the fire. Mm -hmm. You see? Right. And we'll refine them as silver is refined, mm -hmm. and we'll try right them now. as gold is tried. Yep. There you go, man. That's going into the elect, man. That's right. So so he ain't saying about the goddamn man. Right? Everybody's gonna be tested. That's even right. the elect. That's right. right? It says. Uh, they shall call on my name, showing you that we're gonna yeah, know the name, the name yeah. before we get uh, before we get into the kingdom. Yep. We're gonna know the name of the Lord. Yep. How you gonna be? How, how how can the Most High try you? He just wrapped your ass up. That ain't when the Antichrist tried. come on the damn scene and shit. Once the Antichrist shows you colors, man. right? Like the nigga thinking this one man, John. I mean, um, John Revelator told you. The you know, Antichrist was already here, man. Yeah, right. He already told you the uh, Antichrist was already there back in his time, man. Yeah, Anybody true. against Yahweh yeah, Shemal right. Shah, like, yeah. God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Justin, Justin, your ass is a damn Antichrist. God damn, Bo Cam Malone, the Antichrist. Yeah, yeah. Anybody that don't believe in Yahweh Shemal of Israel, yeah. hey, two thirds, two thirds, two thirds of Antichrist, right. man. Yep. You know? Right. First John, chapter 2, verse 11. And it says, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that, and that the Antichrist should come. Yeah, because you know they were coming in back then. Yeah. That's why John Rubb later mentioned that, man. Yeah, right. All right, you know? Because you, cause you had you had plenty of cats talking about they was your Howard shot back then and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Same thing now, You know, man. same thing yeah. the damn day or whatnot, man. You know? Go ahead, it bro. It says, like crazy ass guys coming up. I'm King David. Yeah, I'm King I'm David. I was shot. Yeah, man. I'm the Lord. I'm the most high and shit, man. You know? Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. It says, even now, yeah, niggas still paying bills and taxes and shit. Right. Boy, most I ain't gotta pay no fucking taxes, man. Right. And you <laughs> got, on, man. And you got, you got people that's actually following these crazy yeah, niggas, man. Don't even man. That's why I say that um, one of the signs he told me was like, "Watch for those false prophets that's gonna yep. come in his name in the yep. last day, right. saying that I am the." the, the yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, man, the twenty-fourth chapter. That's right. Many shall, y'all, many false. You got it, though, bro. It says. First John chapter 2 verse 18. It is the last time as ye have heard 
that the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists. Whereby we know that so, it so is the last. So why these guys out here still saying, oh, it's, uh, it's one Antichrist, man? Apparently, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Says, whereby we know that it is the last time. That's, that's the point. Yeah, kind. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so, hey, point, point proven, man. There's many antichrists, man. That's right. That's anybody right. like the bishop was breaking down, anybody who's against you, how about some y'all shy, you're an antichrist or anti messiah, man. Anti Mashiach, right. man. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's all right. right. Hey, we get back in all. We're going to finish the revelation uh, 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 2 and 10 off. Uh -huh. The scripture is the last part. It says, Be thou faithful. Unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. It says, "Be thou faithful even unto death, man." Yeah. All right, because you know what I'm saying. You how about Shemal was Hey, man, he, hey, hey, most high gonna have a reward for us, man. All right, you know what I'm saying for the men of the Lord. All right, for the martyrs of you how about Shemal was you, Your works is gonna follow you at the end of the day or whatnot, right. man. All right, you know. So, uh, hold on, let me get. Uh, matter of fact, read, read, read it again, Barbara. Should I read that part again, Barbara? All right, this is the Book of Revelation, chapter uh, uh, two, ten. I'm reading all. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, hey, Revelation 14 and 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, the less are the dead which die in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Hey, so right. that, 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 that the, the rapture, the rapture doctrine. Right. Okay, like the you say, the rapture is going to take place, is that biblical? How could John see the ones uh, uh, that follow you how side being put to death, man? How, how, how they miss the rapture, man? Yeah. If, they, if they're true believers, how they miss right, the rapture, right, man? Right. You know, how they miss the bus, you know, right. had his own miss the bus, right, how, right, how they, right, how they right. miss the rapture, <laughs> man? Come on, they don't, make, they don't make no sense, man. That's right. a straight cut right there, man, you know? But we go back, um, we're going back to that point. We ever finished that Psalms 147. Uh, I got it. Get back to it. I can get Psalms 147. Because inevitably, hey, this word is only for the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. The Lord's word is only for his, uh, for Jacob, man. Hey, 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 matter of fact, matter of fact, before, you, before we get that, somebody get Revelation and read 20 and 4, brother. Revelation 24, whoever we'll get, we'll get it. Revelation, chapter 20. Verse 4. Hey, 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 no, that's not scripture. Just a cut. That goddamn rapture doctrine. That bullshit, man. Okay? Go ahead, huh? Uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beheaded, man. These are men of the Lord. These, these, these are the elect men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. Alright? These are martyrs. These are gonna be the men that are gonna be rising first in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. So so how so how can a, a regular Jake get raptured before the men of the Lord do, man? If they, if if, they, if that if, if that doctrine is true that you niggas are pushing out, man. It don't make no sense at the end of the day or whatnot, man. That's why that's why we say Christians, y'all don't go into the scriptures, man. Y'all don't know the scriptures, y'all don't know the Bible, man. Right. Y'all was blinded at the end of the day. Then when we go in the scriptures, when we cut you, the only thing you can do is just go off your emotions, man. Right. Or the only thing you can do man. is try to get carnal right. or try to deflect, play right. the deflect game, right. or try to out, uh, or try to try to loud talk yeah, something about it, man. Right. Try to loud talk. Right. talk. Just because you talk like, loud, yeah, because you talk loud, right. don't mean you're right at the end of the day, man. Right. You're just a loud ass, ignorant ass nigga, man. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Just a loud dumbass. <laughs> That's right, brother. You got it. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And it says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh, mm -hmm. which had not worshipped the beast. Which had not worshipped the beast, man. So that shows you they had to be down here for the hour of temptation, man. They did not take the MOTB, man. Even until death, man. So Esau had to behead the men of the Lord or Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai. Certain brothers of the left are going to be beheaded, man. Going to be martyrs. No different 2,000 years ago. No different than what's going to happen today when we be tried in the hour of temptation. Yahweh Shai Yahweh bring upon us, man. Okay? And another so-called conspiracy theory now, <laughs> okay, right. that people are talk down upon. And now you can look into the news and look at certain, the latest news about how America is ordering a lot of gu uh, guillotine, yeah, man. Guillotine. Yeah. Showing that this is lining up with uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, man. And if I'm not mistaken, then now they bring back into law the firing squad. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. brought that back yeah. too. Uh, South Carolina. Yeah. Right here in South Carolina, yeah. man. 
about? So, so they they brought back uh, firing squad uh, execution. Yep. Hey, what y'all, what y'all about to witness is complete hell that's about to uh, take place on the planet Earth, man. Yep. Hey, uh, what is it? Uh, Jeremiah thirty and seven yep. speaks about it's going to be yep. a time like no, no other. That's right. right? Yeah, so, so if it's going into a time like no other, that means all the the, the crazy shit that that's taken place in the history of uh, humankind, so to speak. This time that we're entering into, which is Jacob's trouble, it's about to be worse than all those uh, times, man. Man, I gotta hear that scripture, brother. I'm bringing right. it out for you. Right. Jeremiah 30 and 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Go. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right, and that he that uh, that is speaking about is uh, uh, talking about the elect. Right, the 144,000 and that large multitude is going to be delivered. Right. It's going to be saved out of it. Now we're going to be, Lord, we're of that number. That's right. We'll, right be, we'll be in the midst of Jacob's trouble, right? Because the scriptures also speak about the righteous scarcely being saved, right? But guess what? All in all, the elect is going to be delivered. That's right. Right? But it said, the main point it says, a time like no other. That's right. Right? So you think about, you know, the, the, all the, the different captivities that we've been in and out of, where all the, the crazy uh, shit that has taken place on the planet Earth. Those, those times are going to pale in comparison to uh, Jacob's trouble this time that we're entering into. That's why, and, and, and the Lord is uh, allowing these devils, he's putting the spirit on these devils to come out and show their horns now. Come. That's why they're going around talking about new world order, new world order, man. They're telling you what time it is, man. I got another precept for you, brother. This right here, Daniels, 12 and 1. And at, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stand up for the children of thy people. Yeah. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. There you go, man. So it's going to get so crazy out here that the Lord is going to have to send back Michael the Archangel to uh, protect the elect. He ain't sending Michael the Archangel to protect the whole world, vocab. Right, right. right uh, uh, Justin. <laughs> Y'all love to talk about the Lord loves everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to see who the Lord loves in that day, man. It said the children of thy people. Oh, there you go. Damn. Ooh, there you go. Hey, right, okay. Hey, we continuing back in Daniel's 12 and 1. Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand him up, the great prince, which stand up for the children of thy people. Hey, let's read Psalms 147. Let's see who the people y'all about your mouth is, man. That's right. All right? And, and when we um, finish reading that, let's jump to Psalm uh, 148, bro. Let's read the last verse, man. Let's see who God, let's see who the saints are. Y'all about your mouth shot, bro. Right? 147. Yeah, yeah, Psalms 147. Let me read it again. Day is 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, up the great prince, which stand up for the children of thy people. Let's see if thy people are Christians, man. All right? Oh, Israel. Let's see. Let's see which one it is. This idiot is about to be downgraded to Israelite, right? He's Israelite, right? All right, let, let's see what's up. Psalms 147, 19, it says, He show up his word unto Jacob. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, Ain't no Christians up here, just, man. He show up his word to Jacob. So-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, man. All right, you know, not Christians on there, bro. How about you, my shine? Goddamn Christians. Okay, go ahead, brother. Psalm, one, Psalm 147. Like I said, Christian. Generic term, generic name, man. Right? Yeah. Ain't no yeah, Christian, ain't no nationality. Ain't no nationality, damn right. Christians, man. Right. It just means followers, man. The anointing, man. Yeah, because right? like we like we stated earlier, that was a derogatory yeah, term exactly, yeah, uh, during that time when they uh, came up with Christians, man. Everybody who was following Yahweh Shot, they was calling them Christians. That was they was saying that as a uh, as a uh, you know uh, yeah like uh, brother Kaba said uh, out of mockery, man. You know. Um, but a lot of you people, you so-called Christians, now y'all don't know that. Nah, they don't know that, man. I started back twelve. I started back at the top. Day is twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, up the great prince, which stand up for the children of thy people. Psalm one forty-seven and nineteen. He show up his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. There you go. There you go. Let me continue on, bro. It says go. unto Israel. Right Verse there, 20. Right, right there, plain and simple, man. You know? Psalm 147, verse 20. He have not, he have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Come on, man. That's clear. Straight to the point, bro. Go ahead. I praise ye the Lord. Yeah, how about you? How about you? So the laws and commandments are only given to who? The nation of Jesus. If it was given to everybody, why is it not to the nations in the kingdom? The laws and commandments. If, if, if the laws and commandments right. were given to every goddamn body, like idiots be damn be speaking, 
ignorantly of, man. Y'all ain't know the hell y'all be speaking of, man. All right? Uh, you got it. Go ahead, bro. This is Romans, uh, and I'm gonna go to the ninth chapter of oh, Romans. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because cause, cause you got people saying, well, wait a minute, that was the Old Testament. Right. Wait a minute, what about the New Testament? Well, I got you covered right here. Okay. Romans 9, I'm gonna start at the top. Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in a Mashiach. I lie not. Mm -hmm. My conscience also. Yeah, you can't lie, man. When the Holy Spirit on you, you can't lie, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no lie the truth at the end of the day, man. That's right. All right? Go ahead, bro. It says, I lie not. Mm -hmm. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Okay. Verse 2, that I have great heaviness uh -huh. and continual sorrow in my heart. Uh -huh. For I could wish that myself were a curse for my brother. For my brother. All right, and matter of fact, it's about to go that word brother, isn't it? All right. Let's see what that word means, man. Okay. Right. Let's see. Let's yeah, see. The I, word I, brother I, means I every damn body. Right there. They include everybody. It goes into the word adephilus, and it says a brother, whether born of the same two parents or only of the same father. Let me go to the point. Having the same national ancestry. Oh! <laughs> Talk about, oh, your, talk about your bloodline, man. And it's in the New Testament right, right. here, man. But see, a Christian will tell you, Paul came, he came to teach the word to the Gentiles. Now, knowing they're talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. All right? Showing you can't see, you don't look up fucking words at the end of the day right there, man. Yeah. All right? But see, they'll overlook that, man. Yep. See, Bo Cam Malone, he won't even pay attention to that scripture. He'll throw that yeah. scripture out. Just like he'll throw Revelation 13, 9 and 10. He'll tell you, Revelation 13, 9 and 10, we're talking about he that lead the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. He'll tell you he ain't talking about no future judgment on, on Esau, man. All right. <laughs> yeah, you would say that because you're an Edomite, man. Right. You know, I, I probably said that too if I was an Edomite, man. Yeah, right. All right, who, who won that judgment, man? All right. All right. <laughs> go ahead, brother. But you're going to get it any goddamn That's way, right. man. All right. All right. I'm about to kill no fat head Malone talking about. You don't care if you don't believe, man. Like the scripture said, your incredulity, you know what I'm saying, it means your unbelief ain't gonna trouble us at the end of the day, man. That's Fuck right. you, man. That's we ain't right. listening to you. Hey, man, the day of you damn Edomites up there talking and people believing what the fuck you say, them days over with, man. Them yeah, days long that's fucking that's gone, it. man. Fuck y'all, man. Go ahead, bro. Romans 9 and 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from the anointing for my brethren. He's all about to walk over here and turn back around, man. <laughs> hey, against you. Yeah, you better go the other way. <laughs> go ahead, brother. It says, for my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen, uh -huh. according to the flesh. According to what? According to the flesh. My kinsmen, my brother, my kinsmen. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, when we say, hey, man, that's my kin, folks. What are you talking about? Your blood, that's your bloodline right there, man. And, and, and who talk like that? You damn <laughs> crackers don't talk like that, man. You hey, Edomites hey. don't fucking talk like that, man. Republican shock, and I'm pleased. Go ahead. Because I happen to look up, I'm glad you said that because you say usually Jake talk like that, right? Yeah. Now I happen to look up the, the word brethren mm -hmm. in uh, Google, right? When you hear, hear Esau talk about what's going on, my brethren? You don't right. never hear Esau talk about that, bro. Nah. Come on, man. He don't talk like Esau don't talk like that's not his lingo, man. Right. Now, Go now, ahead, now, I looked this definition, brethren, up in Google, and it gave me other definitions. Of course, it gave me the definitions that that priest was saying, but then when you uh, further look into it, it says informal. Northern American uh, uh, definition for brethren is a black man, chiefly used as a term to address another black person. Yeah, what's up, brother? And then it's a brother. My brother. Come on, man, uh, a fellow human on, being. Man. So, come like, on, right, man. this to back up how you say usually Jake talk like that. Right, right, right. right. Now, oh, and, claim city, man. And this claim term city. right here, man, yeah. hey, yeah. when you hear that word brother, brethren, mm -hmm. even 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 they know the same Google, man. Out, that's, a, that's a that's our term, man. That's our term, bro. Right, even uh. <laughs> Even uh, what is his name? Uh, Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though it's, hey, he's a great yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a great boy. What are you going to do, brother? Brother, <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. But well, we know we know uh, Hulk yeah. and Jake. Yeah, 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 Jake. Oh, yeah, what you going to do with all the Hulk and me <laughs> running all wild over here? Uh, Macho Man. You know? Yeah, Macho Man. Macho, Macho, Macho Man. Said, yeah, Macho Man and Jake too, man. You know. I don't know about Kevin Nash. I don't know about Kevin Nash. You better hope. He's showing signs, but then he go back and be like, ah, he might be either way. It says. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sky Hall, yeah. Razor Ramon, he was a Jake. Yeah, he was a oh, yeah, he, he, he back yeah, in the spirit yeah. world. Yeah, he back in the spirit world. Yeah, he all right now, man. With that old toothpick in his mouth and shit. We had that picture weaving out there when I was with like, Levi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chilling with Levi. Yeah. 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 He ain't even trying to rob him. He was just chilling with him. You said what happened? He was out there with Levi, yeah. Oh, word? He was picture with a bunch of Levi. Oh, shit. He had on the gold. He was all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levi's with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, either way, you don't go hang with Levi, man. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. Because you know he a Jake, man. No, no, that's how Larry Bird. Larry Bird, 
You know, yeah, you damn crackers want to claim Larry Bird. No, no, Larry Bird a fucking J. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He know Larry Bird ain't y'all great white hope, all right? No, no. Larry Bird was a J. Tom Brady was yeah. a goddamn J. Y'all yeah. want to claim all the goddamn J. Even though, you know what I'm saying, they look like they're Edomites, but their bloodline goes back to Israel, man. Yeah. The goddamn, what, what Edomite you know going to allow Antonio Brown up in his damn house? Man? Yeah, come on. All right, come on, man. Yeah. Hey, well, and Larry Bird, Larry Bird, he said, you know what I'm saying, he felt offended if a damn, another damn so-called white man guarded him, bro. Yep. When Larry Bird, when he was in goddamn high Thank school, you, when Larry Bird was in high school and he was in college, he said when he wanted to look, yeah, he, if he wanted to play the best competition, he always played with Jake. Yeah, come on, Ain't no man. regular, he might want to be playing with no goddamn yeah, Jake. First of all, they'd be too goddamn scared. Yeah. They'd be too much, they'd be afraid, bro. You know? I think what Larry Bird is, he went back, goes back to the, the Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Going back, Romans 9 and 3, for I, could, for I could wish that myself were accursed from the anointed for my brethren, mm -hmm. my kinsmen, according to the flesh. It says according to the flesh, man. According to your bloodline, man. Yep. All right, you know, because a nigga, not, not the spirit, according to the flesh, your bloodline, man. That's right. All right, go ahead, bro. Verse 4 being the point, Romans 9 and 4. Right, it says according to the flesh in verse three. Now, verse four, it says, "Who are Israelites?" Mm. Come on, now, and give me that scripture. Wait, Come uh, on, Paul man. was talking about, you know, what I'm saying, you know, his tribe, go back to Benjamin, and bring it up. Oh, God. Oh, yep. And 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 it says, "Who are Israelites, man?" Mm. And this is in the New Testament, by the way, man. Mm. Right, this is in the New Testament. Right, it says, "To whom pertaineth the adoption?" Mm. All right, we was adopted through the Spirit. Uh, Romans eight and sixteen goes into the Spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Israel. Right. When you go into children, it actually in the Hebrew goes into bond, meaning the sons, man. It's really going into the sons of God, sons of the power, man. Right. So, so for this guy talking about uh, being an Israelite is a downgrade, and you are sadly mistaken, my man. Right. This is a, <laughs> this is an upgrade, man. Being a Christian, that is a goddamn downgrade. That's right, right brother. That's right, right brother. That's so it right. says. To whom pertained the adoption and the glory? Hey, what's a part of the glory? Dominion, right? Uh, being, being, uh, being able to rule the planet Earth, to being, being able to rule other planets, having dominion over the nations, man. Having slaves, man. Yeah, we're gonna have slaves in the kingdom. That's a part of the glory, man. That's right. Spiritual power, man. But your dumb ass talking about it's a, it's a, it's a downgrade to be an Israelite. You jackass. He's stupid, man. You got it, bro. Yeah. Start at one, start at one. Uh -huh. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. And it says, I say then. Now, now here it is. Oh, Paul, he talked to the Gentile. Paul talked to the Gentile. Man, Paul cutting y'all ass, man. Right. All right? You know what I'm saying? Why Paul, why Paul reading this right here in Romans 11, chapter 11, chapter? Why he reading that in the ninth chapter, man? Right. The spirit of your how about your mouth shot? Paul didn't write. The spirit of your how about your mouth shot is fire from Paul right That's right. The spirit. It's not Paul's words, it's words of your how about your mouth shot. Right. Like these ain't these ain't the words of the apostles are speaking. It's words of your how about your mouth shot and right. words. That's right. Like, it, it, it's not our own words, it's words of your how about your mouth shot. We speaking, bro. Alright, All right, we hey, we go into the scriptures, bro. Alright, you feel me? Go ahead, huh? Romans chapter 11, verse 1. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, never say it, man. When they, they say it gonna come out any damn. Right. Romans 11, chapter 1. Mm -hmm. So then, have your power cast away his people. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, start at, start at 1. Start at 1. Romans 11 and 1. Yeah. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have your power cast away, cast away his people. Hey, everybody, listen, listen. Read that again. Read that again. Read that again. Oh. Right now, make the cut right there. It's a goddamn, uh, I'm about to call him Jesse Jackass, man. Right. Goddamn, hey. what's his name again? Justin. Justin Jackass. Justin Jackass, man. Go ahead, bro. Jackass Justin, man. Chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have your howl cast away his people. Hey, we might just close the books after this one right here, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Start it back on verse 1. Once again, Barbara It says, Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, have your howl cast away his people. And Paul about to answer that. Your howl forbid. Oh, hell no. Because Hell, you said the Lord changed not. Right. Come on, man. So That's the same. Cut. So the same power that delivered the uh, the Israelites out of uh, out of Egypt, right? And we and that same power is still still exists. Right. With the same with the same mentality that he's always had. But he changed. He, the scriptures say he changed not, man. Right. So so. Hey, look. The the Israelites are the Lord's people, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got one. Yes. And it says, for I also am. For I also am an Israelite there you go. of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Going into the tribes, man. The, the, the 12 tribes of the Israelites, Apostle Paul was a Benjamite, man. 
Did we break out that scripture earlier about uh, in Hebrews 17 and 4 right. that the Lord himself, Yahweh hey, hey, Matter of fact, I can bring it out again, brother. I can bring it out again, brother. We can't bring it out enough, brother. We can't bring it out enough, brother. Right? What happened oh, just now, goodness. brother? Oh, man, I missed that one. Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord, Yahweh Shah, sprang out of Judah. Right. Out another of one. Judah. Another Judah. Judah. That's another right. nation of, uh, out, out of the 12 tribes. So-called Negroes. Right. So you right. had the Apostle Paul, you said that he's a major white. And now it's talking about our Lord, you said he's a Judahite. That's right. That's Come right. Come on, man. Why, why, why the Lord had to mention that, man? Hebrews 7, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord, Yahweh Shah, sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. You know, that was the point. Straight to the point, bro. Real quick, uh, land back up with Brother Shabbat Red. Uh, Malachi 3 and 6. For well, I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. He's not consumed. He doesn't change. He's right. not going to do away with, with Jacob, man. Right. And the proof is, is of that right now. It's great to awaken. Okay, but the Lord having his word in which now you see uh, the great awakening of the nation of Israel mainly the, the elect. Okay, so so they can't do nothing against it, man. Oh, the scripture says you can't do nothing against the truth but before the truth, man. Okay, so all these uh, non-believers, they're coming against the word, so yeah, how about you, Shai? And they're just playing a lot into being scoffed in this corner. Eventually, uh, they're going to be uh, judged, man. So the Lord is not going to do away with Israel, man. Okay, ain't never be no um. What well, they got? They got a term called. Hey, 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 repeat that again, brother. You probably got drowned out just now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak a little louder. Yeah, God, yeah, no, yeah. Like, like I say, so the scripture says that the Lord have not done away with His people. The Jacob is not consumed. That's right. Okay, and now you know, Kavokah, he got a term called replacement theology and all that, man. Yeah. Okay, so they're trying to take Israel out of the. Uh, uh, the, the truth of the matter is that we are Lord chosen people, man. Okay, but we are, man. And the curses prove it. History prove it. Secular history. We just now went into how Esau, he's proving that we the Israelites. Okay? And this, this word is, 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 is growing more and more. God, right. Esau just mad because he, uh, he, he, he not part of the uh, nation of Israel. All right, so he, he, he got to take out his anger out on the nation of Israel. All right, hey, but the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh he got it like that. He, you know, all right, so you can do, you can do anything to, to uh, you can do anything, man, to the men of the Lord or to the nation of Israel. All right, but that's not going to stop them from being the Lord's uh, nation, man. Yeah, they ain't going to stop the word of the Lord. Uh, they ain't going to stop the Lord's prophecy. Right. Okay, being fulfilled, man. This, you know, it already been set up through the spirit way before, you know, in the spiritual realm, before the, the earth came into existence, before, you know, the Lord created all the nations, it was already set up uh, how the Lord was going to set the order of you know, who's going to be the top nation. Right. And happily, we are, man. And we got no problem with that, man. Right. Uh, we, we, are, uh, we appreciate and, 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 and give all praise to you, how about you, Shai? for making us an Israelite, man, and not no uh, other nations, okay? Because not only Esau rejected, all the rest of these other nations, they're rejected as well, man. Right. So, so, by, you know, uh, Justin Jackham, <laughs> by saying, uh, you know, yeah, this is a downgrade to be an Israelite, nah, man, you pretty much going in, man. All right, because the blessing we were going to receive, you know, you know, when we get in, uh, to the kingdom, man, you go past the stuff on this earth, man. Uh, you can't even imagine what the kingdom is going to uh, how the kingdom is going to be. Okay. All right. And, and, and again, this, this, uh, um, you know, what is the name? Justice. Uh, Justice, Justice Jackass. Justice Francis <laughs> Jackass. You might, you might be a king. Girl, I'm like, you might be Since you don't want to be an like you might be a king of another hedonistic nation, man. Okay, but then when the kingdom is established, uh, then they're going to put it on. Watch how many uh, Jacob, you know, people want to come up and, and, and try to be like, trying to, trying to listen. But like, like the scripture say, uh, that people share with you, they have that power. Exactly. When y'all start seeing the men of the Lord, you know, performing miracles with spiritual power, being risen up with spiritual power, then y'all going to want to get right, man. 
And a lot of y'all, that's when the Lord wants to come in, man. It's gonna be a Lord wants to that come in at the last, man. Then you're gonna be fully convinced, man. Part of the, the camps. Yep. I mean, they're gonna bug a lot of people. Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's what a lot of them can. Oh, great missile! Look what they—they letting heathens in. They can't let heathens because they're not spiritual. At the end of the day, man, not all Israel gonna come out looking like Michael Jordan and Shaq. Right. Dummies out there. There you can There you won't wave it away with both cabinets. Okay, that one is problems yeah. right there too. Exactly. Okay, because we tell them this is not just a, as they say, a black Hebrew Israelites that you got Israelites looking like other nations that actually part of great mess. We had Pastor Bar a couple of years ago make the uh, uh, mistake about brothers that's a great male snow that might not look like the average Israelite. Right. Typical, typical look of a Negro like the American, but the main look uh, of a Israelite corner as, you know, the Israelite. Hey, the somebody, somebody bring out Roman Gators. Uh, uh, a so-called so white people. You got, you got Israelites that may look like so-called white people, but they're, you know, they're, they're, they're Israelites. Right. And Apostle Pastor Bar make the statement. Uh, Like, 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 prime, like prime example, man. Like, like prime example. Here it is. You have Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin, father of the Levite, man. Father of the Israel. Right? Your nationality is determined through your father going to him at the numbers 1 and 18, man. Right? You know, going down numbers. The first chapter, man. You know, breaks it down. But the point of the matter is, Blake Griffin is a Hebrew Israelite. Now, Blake Griffin, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he was dealing with an Edomite woman, man. He was dealing with an Edomite woman of another nation outside of Israel, so-called white woman. He had a son with the Edomite woman. Now, that son that he had with that Edomite woman, that son, his bloodline is determined through his father. So his son is a Hebrew Israelite. But when you look at Blake, and somebody can pull up an image of Blake Griffin's son, if, Blake, if you look at Blake Griffin's son, his, his son it look like a so-called white man. But that, that's an example. His son, don't, his son ain't no so-called white man because he can't be based off of color. All right, you know what I'm saying? His nationality goes back through his father. But if you look at Blake Griffin's son, you say, oh, that's a so-called white man. But your, but your nationality, it, it, you know, is determined through the seed of your father, man. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. Israel was scattered throughout the four corners. When you go back to the time of the Moors or whatnot, when the Moors conquered Spain, wait, wait, what did, what, what did they do, man? They put the Edomite men in the goddamn death, those that didn't escape in the damn mountains and shit. And you know what I'm saying? And what did what did Jake did? Jake took the damn Edomite women, and you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, what did, they, they spoiled the women, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You call we call them Harlem, but we call them damn the head of Harlem. Harlem, shit. Okay, I can't think of the correct word. We call this shit, man. Over the eight, though, man. Where they had the damn women living in Harlem houses? No, 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 no. Damn, we got the turn. Huh? Hear him. There you go, brother. There you go, brother. Hear him. There you. There you go, brother. Hear him, man. All right, the water for that, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know. But the point of the matter is, when, when Jake was popping those damn women or whatnot, I mean, how, man, how the kids was coming out, man? The kids, they was coming out. Some of them had blue eyes. Some of them, they was lighter than their father. Some was darker than their mother. Now, what happened? Let, let, let's go back to the example. Somebody find an image of Blake Griffin's son. Y'all didn't hear him. You don't put it in? Now, what happened when Blake Griffin's son, let's say Blake Griffin's son, he be like his damn dad. Yeah. He get him a damn Edomite woman. And he put his seed in that, damn, he put his seed in that Edomite woman or whatnot. Hey, that child gonna come out looking like a goddamn Edomite, man. Yeah, right. But the spirit in that child, cause you can know, cause Jake, you know Jake through the spirit, bro. Let that ass know I'm here. Fuck. Damn, damn nigga. But the spirit goes back to Israel, man. All right, his nationality goes back to Israel, man. Okay, yes. all right. Go ahead, also, I, also, uh, Mike Connolly's son, man. Yep, yep. Another he, prime he, example. He son, man. It sounds like a straight up cracker. Yep, yep right. Yep. It sounds like a cracker, but his line goes back to being an Israelite, man. And you know, and you know, Israel, Jake. We come in all shades, man. That's why you had Jake going back during the time of slavery. You had certain Jake, they can pass as a so-called white man, man. Uh -huh. All right? So Jake, we come with different shades, man. Yeah, how about Shemal Shah deal with variety, man? And guess what? You know what I'm saying? And you know, when you deal with the Israelite foreigners, the most I know that was going to be a stumbling block, you stupid niggas, man. All right, somebody got it, Romans 8 and 16? Okay. All right, go ahead, brother. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. And the read, it said, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. Yeah, because at the end of the day, all these damn niggas, oh man, he ain't no Hebrew Israelite. Y'all letting heathens in, in the camp. You have other niggas saying that. But see, my word to you clowns, man. You like you, uh, uh, damn, what a nigga Captain Tazari at, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? When you had Jake, they were coming from Nigeria. Oh, you a hell, Mike. Not knowing you got a large, huge civilization of Jake that's over there 
in, in, still in there in Africa, man. Yeah. Stupid ass nigga. Now all Jake's got on the boat and was ship over here around the west. I mean, around the uh, western hemisphere. Right. Dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? You know you still got a lot of Jake community that's out there. But prime a prime example. You know what I'm saying? You have a damn Cesaria. He'll he'll you know what I'm saying? He'll he'll that'll be a stumbling block. That'd be a stumbling block to him at the end of the goddamn day. He think all Jake supposed to come back looking dark skinned and shit, bro. Right. You know, simple hey, ass nigga. You get the example about the dark ages, how mm -hmm. you saw was pushed up into the caves, mm -hmm. and we, uh, and the dark ages they had the, the, the Edomite women. They was laying with them, and the same thing that happened during the, the Dollar Year Ring. But Jake was on the west coast of uh, Africa, come on, man. man. Come on, man. Okay, they they was going throughout, uh, uh, um, uh, um. Uh, uh, conquering those hermetic nations, yeah, yeah. all them, you know, the, the, over there in the Middle East, because we just wasn't scattered in Europe, man. Right. Also, he scattered us abroad, all over, man, all, all over, over, man. All over. There's no way in the earth where you can't find a Hebrew Israelite, man. All right, you know? Even, um, we had Jake that was um, fighting the Vietnam War. Yeah, they call him, they call him VM, um, VM, um, what do they call him? What do they call it? Um, the Jake, the Jake. You know what I'm saying? The other the Vietcom, Vietcom, they call him Vietcom. You know what I'm saying? You know? And, and the other Vietnam, Vietnam, the other ones, Vietnamese, they don't even mess with uh, Vietcom because they know that they line go back to goddamn Jake, man. Yep. Even in um um in um in India, man. You know what I'm saying? You got a large Jake community yep. where them East Indians don't even fuck with them Jakes down there, man. They call them the, uh, All right. What they call them? I know they call them the Untouchables. Yeah, but yeah. They call them, I forgot the actual term that they call mm -hmm. them. They call them. Uh, I forgot this uh, exact term. But but but, but that's what but, but the point. Into. But the point being you made, know? though, man. The point right. being made at the end of the day. Yeah, why the, not? The, the, the Dalit. The, the Dalit. Dalit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're outcasts. Right. They're outcasts. And they're in the gutters and they're living in the poorest right. of the land and shit, man. Suffering All right? From the hey, suffering from the curses. Showing you the curses gonna follow Jake. And it's a spiritual thing, man. All right? Hey, hey, oh, yeah, I know the point I was gonna make. Not to Zara yet, man. Hey, show me your proof you Hebrew Israelite, man. Show me your record. What, what records you have showing what tribe you from, nigga? None of us have that, man. None of us have that shit today, man. It's all through the spirit, dummy. And through prophecy, we know we the children of Israel, man. Stupid ass nigga. He can't, he can't show you no record. Yeah, man, my tribe go back to Judah right here, man. This is my line right here. Man. All the records got destroyed, nigga. Stupid ass, man. That was dead all y'all about I said Jeremiah 17 and 4. We had to discontinue from our inheritance, man. Dumb ass. How the hell you think all Israel gonna come back? You know what I'm saying? Looking the same. Don't you know Jake? Hey, Jake love women at the end of the day. You got a lot of Jake men that don't even mess with goddamn Israelite women, man. You know what I'm saying? What, what they say about the sports athletes? Oh, man, they all in love with the damn white women, man. Right. Don't the black women be, be hating and shit. They, yep. they get rich. They forget about their own. They sell out, man. Yep. They, they be sleeping with the damn white woman and shit or whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so when Jake Offspring have kids, all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, who y'all call mixed, but they ain't no such thing as mixed people, right. dummy. All right, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no such thing as mixed. So when Jake kids have kids and they decide to sleep with Edomite women, hey, they child gonna look more like Edomite, like Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin's son, if Blake Griffin have a son, his, his son gonna look even more like a goddamn Edomite, man. But they bloodline go back to Israel, man. That's why you That's why you have certain Jake, all of us went to school, but we had a goddamn, you call him cool Mike, man. He always like a so-called white boy. He was so fucking cool, white Mike. You know what I'm saying? You know? Or you had it, or you had Jason Williams, we call him what? White, white chocolate, chocolate, man. Yeah. He said, oh man, they eat him like, they, uh, uh, I want a pivot to eat my white boy right there. Oh, man, he got flavor, man. Uh, so that boy got flavor right there, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? Come on, man. Well, well think about uh, King Herod, man. Come on. He was, man. He was an eater, man. Yeah, and the same thing go with Esau. There you go. You got, hey, hey, when we go back, the goddamn, um, what was that? What that chicken? No, what? Yeah, chicken, chicken George, George, man. When you go back and you watch the movie Roots, hey, chicken George, mom got raped by the uh, plantation owner. Man. So guess what? Even though he was dark skinned and shit, he still was a goddamn Edomite, man. Hey, they show you a picture of George Washington's son, yep, man. Yep. That motherfucker had a fucking fro and looked like George Washington. Looking ugly as hell, ugly motherfucker, man. But guess what, man? You know what I'm saying? His line, even though he was dark skinned, you know, you know what? Guess what? Tazaria, Tazaria, he let go and watch his son. He let him in. He let him in. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 but even though George Washington's son, and, and you know, even though George Washington's son looked like a goddamn Jake, like a Hebrew Israelite, like, he looked like a so called Negro, his line goes back to Edom, man. He's a chocolate yeah. fucking Edomite, man. All right? Go ahead, bro. Oh, got now the uh, Tia and Tamara. Yeah, yeah, Tina and Tamara, man. Oh, yeah. They eat them like, and you can tell, man. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? They ain't had no, they had no flavor like an Israelite woman, oh, man. They wasn't viable, man. And then it was corny as hell, too. Man. They corny, brother, they brother too. They yeah, yeah, he was corny as fuck, too, man. Oh, corny ass nigga, man. I mean, I, uh, T, his brother brought out a great oh, example, Tina and Tamara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, because you know, you had a brother played on smart guy. He's corny. Man, he, he was corny as fuck, too. He was never funny, man. Yeah, he was like a damn. 
about the old fag and shit, man. Yeah, Go man. ahead, bro. Hey, Roma is eight and, uh, He ain't even not rock his clothes, right? He ain't rock his clothes like no goddamn Jake. He rock his clothes like a damn so-called white boy. That why, that why, he ain't no uh, fucking flavor, man. That's why the spirit, well, what was his brother, uh, Marcus and uh, mm -hmm. on uh, uh, Smart Guy, that's why they had them different spirits. Hey, look at Jake, look how Jake brought the pants legs and shit, man. Look at Jake's pants legs. He saw no rock his clothes like we rock our clothes right. and shit, man. Jake right. just got style, man. Right. He got a style, man. It don't even look right. Yeah, it don't even look right. You know what we always say? Esau can't even rock a damn suit right, man. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. You ever seen Esau in a damn suit? <laughs> that suit don't never look right on Esau, man. I don't give a fuck how expensive that suit is, bro. Hanging Go ahead, off, bro. bro. Hanging off on wrong and shit. <laughs> Ain't even perfect. You know, Jake can get shit customized. You know, Jake should be fit. Come on. Jake yeah, know how to freak this shit, bro. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Jake can get some family doc. Jake can get some from Walmart and have it and be looking fly in the mug, man. Exactly. All right? Esau gets something from Walmart. It look like it's from fucking Walmart, man. You know? Exactly. Go ahead, man. Hey, can't that. Um, this, uh, you know, uh, Esau. He, he wear that same old uh, plaid shirt, <laughs> the same old shorts. Yep. Yeah. Every every either my every either my got the same short kind of. He's not gonna rock a hat, right? You see how he's not rocking damn hat. I ain't gonna lie, Ham rocked the hat worse than Esau, man. He's, <laughs> ham ain't got no goddamn good flavor. I think Esau got a little more flavor than damn Ham, bro. Ham just corny, man. Yeah, wait, wait. Hey, you wanna call it? You wanna associate us being some African? You better get the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, go ahead, uh, Go ahead, go ahead, make a point. I'll make a point, brother. I know it's about uh, for that uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 33. I don't know if it makes a difference. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, he sent something near unto himself and others. You know, he cast away, making them, you know, made them basically nothing. No, no, no. And like Elder Pumpkin always do, man. Like, you ever seen. Uh, President Mandela be dancing and shit or whatnot. <laughs> you got no rhythm, man. And hey, you got Jake that think that. He's one of us, man. He can't even damn dance. Man, you looking all fucking stupid and yeah, shit, bro. Man. You know, go yeah, ahead. Uh. Ecclesiastes chapter thirty-three, verse thir thirteen. Uh -huh. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render them as like. To him, to him best. Uh, it says, "Good is set against evil, life against death. So is the godly against the sinner." Yeah, duality. Y'all about to my shot? Duality at the end of the day, man. Right? You know, good and evil, man. Day and night, man. Man and woman, man. man. So matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse, verse ten. Uh huh. Uh, but it says, "And all men are from the ground, and Adam was clothed of the earth. I mean, was created of the earth. In much knowledge." The Lord had di divided them and made their ways diverse. Yeah, so that show you right there that all men is not equal, man. Yeah. Okay, because they said that all of us came from Adam, but the Lord said he divided the nations from Adam. And it says, and all men are created from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. And much said all men are created from the ground, right? Okay, so you know what I'm saying? You dig in the ground, right. deeper you dig in the ground, you know what I'm saying? The darker the soil is, yeah, man. That's right. And the darker the soil is, the richer the soil is, yeah, right, right now, man. All right? Showing you Yahweh Shema Rashad, you know what I'm saying? You know, to have leprosy. That's a curse, man. Showing you Yahweh Shema Rashad curse and put that mark on you goddamn devils, man. That mark went on Cain, man. Now, when Cain first came out, Cain was a, a, a so-called dark-skinned man, man. Ain't no so-called. Cain was a dark-skinned man, bro. You know, but when Cain committed that act of murder on his brother Abel and tried to lie about it and shit, hey, and been a coward, been a little pussy about it, hey, guess what? Yahweh Shemashah hit his ass with, 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 with that uh, leprosy, man, all right? Hey, when Yahweh Shemashah was showing Moses that he was with him, what Yahweh Shemashah told Moses? Put his hand in his booth. When, 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 when Moses put his hand in his booth and put his hand out, his hand was leprosy, bro, all right? And then when, it, and then when he put his hand back in, it turned back his natural color, man. So if his hand turned white and snow, then what was the color then? He was already so-called white, like y'all be having in the fucking movie, like Charlie and Hepsin and all that shit, playing Moses. Hey, they're gonna pay for it. You might as well fucking pay for that shit, too. Right. So if he was so-called white, how, 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 could his, how could his hand turn sandy white? I mean, pure white, when you already so-called white, man. Right. right. That don't make no motherfucking sense, man. See, you devil's lies ain't fucking adding up no damn more, man. Look at Esau, man. He frowned his damn face, man. You know, he knows it's the truth, man. All right? Fuck Esau, oh, yeah, fuck Esau, man. man. Go ahead, bro. Sirach, chapter 33, <laughs> verse 10. And all men are from the ground, uh -huh. and Adam was created of the earth. In much knowledge, in much knowledge, the Lord has divided them and made their ways oh, they diverse. Keep, they keep that shit up there. And it says, in much knowledge, the Lord had yep. divided them and made their ways diverse. So once again, man, the Lord yep. divided the nations. Not on top of that, the Lord divided us. He make our ways diverse, man. Different. They're different, man. Right. It That's says, right. Right. and some of them have he blessed and exalted, and some of them have, have he sanctified, 
and sat there himself or get the children of Israel. But right. some of them have he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. And this is going to these heathen nations stuff with on, Esau and Edom. The Lord cursed them and, and brought them low. Okay. And the Lord can do that. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. So what is all this this madness about Christianity? It's all us in the image of, 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 of Christ. The Lord will bring all nations together. Right. Not according to the scriptures. The Lord talk about division and sending the nations here to the front. And the rest of the nations, they, they are, the Lord cast them away. Turn them away, man. bear witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the children of the most high. the spirit, going back to the curse, going back to Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And only Israel can be able to go into the scriptures and Yahweh Shema Shah give them revelation in order to, you know what I'm saying, to go into the scriptures and, and, and understand the deep meanings, the deep breakdowns, man. Only Israel can bring it like that. Only Israel can call the name of Yahweh Shema Shah. Hey, man, the heathen, the name of Yahweh Shema Shah is a terrible, is a terrible towards the heathen, man. All right, it's a terror towards them, man. All right, you know? Um, you asked somebody has and we might about to go ahead and wrap it up, man. And we're going to just end that point with, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It's a damn downgrade to be a fucking Christian, nigga. Yeah, right? It's an upgrade to be a right. Hebrew Israelite. That's right. right. Get it right, man. Go ahead, bro. Revelation chapter 7, verse 3. Say, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power. Woo! Hey, this end time prophecy right here, fool. It's end time prophecy. And, I, and, I, and I'm speaking of fool. I'm talking about you. Goddamn Justin. All right, Justin B. Oh, okay. All right, now, Justin Francis. I'll call you by your Jack real name. Ja yeah, Jackass Justin. Yeah, go ahead, bro. He says, Till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Mm -hmm. and this, this going into the elect right here, man. It's going into the elect. Where, where you read it from, brother? Revelation chapter 7. Oh, that's the last book in the Bible, right? That's right. Hey, what, what, what revelation means what reveal, right? That's right. Oh, okay. All right, just ask him, brother. Go ahead. Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Mm -hmm. And there were, were uh, sealed and hundred and forty and four thousand. Uh oh, the elect right here, man. The elect. Go ahead, brother. Of all the tribes. Oh, oh hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold that sound up. I'm going to man. Hold up. Bring it back up. Bring it back up. Go ahead and read that part again. Huh? It says, And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand uh -huh. of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Oh, let's go through it, brother. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Of Israel, man. There you go. But yet, J Justin Jackass, he'll tell you hey, it's a downgrade, man. So you know he ain't part of the lake. He ain't part of the hundred and forty four thousand, man. Nope. Nigga, first of all, nigga got damn long ass fucking dreads and yep. shit, man. So you, you don't even follow the Bible. You don't follow, you don't follow nothing of all the scriptures, man. Go ahead, bro. None of y'all Christians do. Man. Hey, yeah, the best thing y'all can do is repent. That's it. Y'all better repent, man. That's it. Bro. Revelation 7 and 5. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Mm -hmm. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Tribe of Gad, man. You so-called Native American. Hey, man, let's start back up. Mark, shot. Revelation 7 and 5. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Tribe of Judah, you so-called Negroes, man. Tribe of Judah, man. All right? Yeah, how about you, my child? I said no Negroes. He said no fucking African Americans, man. He said the tribe of Judah, man. So if you don't come back to your nationality, you ain't part of that, bro. Your ass gonna be fucking destroyed, man. Simple as that, man. That's right. Can't say, can't say it no more plainer than that, man. Go ahead, bro. Of the tribe of Reuben. The tribe of Reuben, man. All right? You so-called Seminole Indians, man. All right? Don't be saying so-called. These are names your oppressors put on you, man. All right? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Uh-huh. Of the tribe of Gad. The tribe of Gad, man. So-called Native Americans, man. All right, the tribe of Gad, man. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Were sealed 12,000. Read the revelations, man. Yeah. Right, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Pope Cal Malone, uh, Justin Jackass. Hey, y'all got to go back to the drawing board, man. Y'all got to go back to the fucking yeah, drawing man. board, man. Right, y'all, because y'all fail that big time. Kicking Music, against bro. the pricks. Kiss, kicking against the pricks, bro. Go ahead, up. Revelation 76, of the tribe of Asher. The tribe, the tribe of Asher, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? So-called Colombians, man. Okay, all right. Go ahead, brother. We're sealed 12,000. 12,000, man. And, and it's going into the body government of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. So what you got to say now, nigga? Go ahead, bro. Of the tribe of Nephthalim, we're sealed 12,000. So-called Argentina, man, to Chile, man. All right? 
Nephtali, man. 12,000, man. Go ahead, bro. Of the tribe of, Man of Manessas uh, were sealed 12,000. Tribe of Manessa, man. So called Cubans, man. Okay, all right. Y'all niggas looking kind of. Yeah, 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 man. Y'all taking a big L, bro. That's a big uh -huh. blowout. Y'all getting blow out, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, out. Of the tribe of Simeon uh -huh. were sealed 12,000. Hey, the tribe of Simeon, man. All right. Tribe of Simeon, man. So called Dominicans, man. Right. Hey, you know, it's like, you know, you play Madden. And once you go ahead and you get skunked 21 at night, hey, you gotta give up them goddamn controllers, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You got skunk, man. Hey, give up them controllers, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Justin. Justin Bieber. Go ahead, up. Uh. Of the tribe of Levi, uh -huh. seal 12,000. Hey, you so called Haitians, man. Levi, so called Haitians, man. All right? That, hey, hey, this right here, this the end right here, man. Is This is the end. A new edition right here, man. All right, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Of All the right. tribe of Issachar uh -huh. were sealed 12,000. Tribe of Issachar, so called Mexicans, man. All right, that's what you have about Shemal dealing with the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And out of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, it's 12,000 men. Let's be specific. 12,000 right. men, elect men of you have about Shemal that gonna come out of each respectful tribe, which gonna make up the body government. Of Start with, our, start with the kings of kings, our big bro, Yahweh Shah. And the first king of Israel, King David, man. Right. Represent the house of David, which represent the elect, the house of David, the tabernacle of David, bro. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8. Of the tribe of Zebulon, we're still 12,000. All right, the tribe, we be at right the tribe of Zebulon, man. All right, call them out, man. Count them out, man. Okay, Zebulon, man. Yep. Okay? All right, 12,000, man. All right? Of the tribe of Joseph, we're sealed 12,000. The tribe of Joseph, you know what I'm saying, really head tribe, hey, Ephraim, man. All right, Ephraim, bro. Okay, you so-called Puerto Rican, man. All right, you know, that was it. I got a little more. Okay, go ahead, brother. Of the tribe of Benjamin, uh -huh. we're sealed 12,000. Hey, man, the tribe of Benjamin, all right, so-called West Indies, man. All right, West Indians, man, okay? You damn so-called Trinidadians, man. Yep. All right, you know, you so-called Caribbeans, man. Yep. All right, Benjamin, man. Okay, that was it. Okay, hey, hey, that right there was a the point right there, man. All right, now, what should I say, hold, bro? We're going to end on it. Hey, let's just go to, go to this read Jeremiah 31 and, um, 31 and 31, oh, yeah. bro. Going into, going into the covenant, going into, that's when the new covenant going to be fulfilled in the kingdom, man. All right, and, and who that covenant, Yahweh Shemal made with? We read Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Yahweh Shemal Shah said he only showed his word to Jacob. You know what I'm saying? He only showed his word to Israel. All right, not no other fucking nation at the end of the day, and that never changed even to this very day, bro. All right, they still stand to this day, man. Go ahead, brother. Hey, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 31 and 31. All right, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shy, that I will make a new it says, covenant. Behold, future prophecy, man. Yeah. Future prophecy, man. All right, right. and Yahweh Shema. Yo, how about your mouth? Y'all don't make no goddamn mistakes, man. He right. very clear, and he playing with it, man. Huh? He playing with it, man. All right, go ahead, bro. And that line back perfectly as the priest was reading that uh, Romans 9 and 4 for the Israelites, man, to the ones who pertain to the adoption, and, and, and the, the, the adoption, the, 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 the covenants, yep. and all those things, man. All right? And as we uh, continue on, Jeremiah 31 and 31, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, your by Shema was shy, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Hey, what? That I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. No, with the Christians, brother. With the house of Israel. With the Baptist, brother. With the house of Israel. Evangelist, brother. With the house of Israel. Je Jehovah Witness, brother. With the house of Israel. The Roman Catholics, brother. With the house of Israel. Oh, and with the house of Judah. Not a carton. Jeremiah 31 and 32. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Go ahead. Go ahead, Done. All right, Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, uh -huh. the days come, say of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, I was shy. Yep. And I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. The house of Israel, so called Negro Latino you know, Native American. Go ahead. And with the house of Judah, uh -huh. which according to the covenant that I made with their according fathers. According to the what? Uh, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Hey, matter of fact, Somebody look up the word covenant, man. Right. All right. Look at where you go. We go blue letter or we go Google, man. It don't right. even matter, bro. You All know right. what I'm saying? Right. Hey, the scripture say the Lord say, he, 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 hey, the day is coming that He's gonna make a new covenant mm -hmm. with the with the house of Israel, and the on, house man. of Judah, not according to the Come covenant, on, right? Come on. Man. Uh, got that uh, definition. All right. All right. But uh, I'll read it out, man. I got you. All right. Going into it. 
I went to the uh, online etymology dictionary. Mm -hmm. It says covenant, mm -hmm. mutual compact mm. to do or not to do something. Mm -hmm. A contract. Oh, a contract. contract bro. You know what I'm saying? Is Yahweh did, did is Yahweh Shema Shah gonna null the contract? No, sir. Hell, no, sir. motherfucking nah, man. Most yeah. I ain't gonna go against his word. Tonight, Yahweh Shema Shah made a promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's right. Okay, most I gonna keep that promise, man. Right. Most high is a power that he shall not That's lie right. at That's the end right. of the day, man. Come on, man. Come on. It says, continuing on, it says agreement, pact. Mm. Promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, a said, promise, yep. bro. Right. Y'all better y'all gonna keep his promise, yep. man. At the end of the day, man. The most high ain't like no motherfucking man when man changes fucking right. mind, man. Right. Yeah, how about your mouth shot say something? You better sketch it in fucking stone. It's gonna happen. Right. Yeah, how about your mouth shot gonna do 100% what he said? 100%, That's man. Right. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. That's pretty much the point. I got this point right here where it says, law, it says a promise made by D. Now it says applied in scripture mm. to God's arrangements. Mm. Now, now what they got in here, because Esau got to throw a curveball. It says with mm. man as transition, not just with any man. Right, right. Hey, Israelites. Yeah, that's right. With that's the Israelites. Right. Yeah, that's right. Get it right, Esau. That's right. Right. That but, but Esau can't get right though. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, uh, uh, Jeremiah 31 and 31. Yeah, it says, Esau, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, you how about Shem I was shot. Another fire truck had to come, man. Two of them, goddammit. Two of them. God damn it, he did it. Hey, double the trouble, baby. Right. Hey, they ain't gonna be able to stop that. They ain't gonna be able to stop that fire, you how much much about the brain. They ain't about to stop that fire, but most high about the brain, man. Sir, he was a right. Right there, man. So, you know, hey, back at uh, Jeremiah 31 and 31, it says, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh mm -hmm. Shem I was shy, yep. that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. A new covenant. And, uh -huh. with, and with the house of Judah, uh -huh. not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers mm -hmm. in the day that I took them by the hand mm -hmm. to bring them out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh Shem I was shy, he'd make a better covenant. Right. Man. Ain't gonna be writing in no damn sketch of no damn stone, man. Right. All right, and the most I'm about to explain, man. All right, we ain't gonna go off anymore, man. All right, and the most I'm gonna explain, the brother's gonna read it. I ain't gotta say nothing, the brother's gonna read it. Yeah, my to the covenant that I made with the in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. which my covenant they break. Yep, yep, they break all off damn time, man. That's why, that why, that why you have a term called New Covenant. That's why Yahweh Shah had to get on that cross, man. Uh -huh. All right, it had to be that sacrifice, okay? You know what I'm saying? Without blemish to bring Israel, starting with the elect, back to Yahweh, man, at the end of the day, man. He had to make that intercession for Israel, man. All right, Yahweh Shah is that mediator at the end of the day, bro. Go ahead, huh? And also, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he a man of his word, too, That's man, right. because he right. said, he, he let you know, he giving you history. Things are written before our times, before our learning. And the scripture right there, he say, hey, not the time that I that I uh, made a covenant with y'all fathers back mm -hmm. in the day. And he said, which they did break. Mm -hmm. Hey, but the Lord let you know, hey, he always had Israel, man. That's right. That's you know? right. That's but getting right. back into um, uh, 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 Jeremiah 31 and 32, it says, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was in husband unto them, saith the Lord, you know, by Shem, how was shy. All right, verse 33, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Shai, I will put my law in their inward part. The most I say he's gonna put their law in their inward part, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, man. That's when we gonna be perfect. Right. That's when we gonna be able to keep the law perfect. Sakari, that's when we gonna keep the law perfect. Right. Not until then, not until the kingdom, man. And that's starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. That's right? right. You know, two thirds is gonna come back through the loins of the elect. And when they come back in the kingdom, they're gonna be perfect as well, too. And then they're gonna be blessed. All right? They ain't gonna be blessed on this side, because they, they, they ain't gonna catch the first go around, right? All right? They has gotta die on this side, man. Because Yahweh Shah blood ain't gonna cover them on this side. Yahweh Shah blood is only gonna cover the elect on this side right here, man. Okay? All right? Oh, even though ultimately, all Israel is going to be saved. All Israel going to be in the kingdom. Uh, All Israel going to be good, man. All right? Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 31 and 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. The house of Israel. I keep hearing the name Israel, man. Right. I keep hearing that right. name Israel, man. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
that I'm about to make with the uh, SCD against the Yes, right. Oh, they say everybody else. He say this is something that the whole world will be up on demand. No, that I'm right. Nah, he said with the house. The most of Yahweh Shah did not tell Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob he making a couple with some damn Christians. Right. And they ain't even come up, bro. Right. What the hell you right. talking about, man? Right. And stupid people, man. Yeah. <laughs> Some dumb ass. That word wasn't even around back then. Go ahead, uh. Back at it, uh, uh, Jeremiah 31, 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, I will put my law to their inward parts. Oh, but that law is what? That means our minds, man. Yep. Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, gonna program us not to go off anymore. Uh -huh. It won't be no more sin. We're gonna be perfect, man. Uh -huh. Israel, uh, Israelite won't even be coughing in the kingdom. We won't get sick. You won't stutter, you won't get no fucking headache, you'll be perfect, man. Yeah, we ain't gonna have no sex, we're gonna be perfect at, in that dinner time, man. We supermans in that game. We're gonna, in the game. We're gonna have Superman and Superwoman, man. You know, so our women gonna have spiritual, I mean, they gonna have spiritual power too. That's right. You know, cause hell, they gotta deal with us. But they gotta have spiritual power. They can't be regular dealing with us, bro. You know? Go ahead, brother. Uh, 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 Even our baby, the little kid, the scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying, little baby Israelite. Shall shall play with a goddamn fucking damn poison this thing, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Not getting bitten or whatnot. Yeah. Come on, man. That spiritual power right there, bro. A little baby Jake can fuck up a damn grown ass Edomite, man. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's true salvation, man. That's, that's, true, that's salvation. true rest, man. Yeah. That, that, that's, 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 that's the true kingdom, man. Yeah. But we're going to have rest, man. Power, perfection. Ain't got to worry about it. Right. That's not like a, a downgrade. Right, right. I mean, like I said, he just put his foot in his goddamn mouth, man. Look at damn Jake about to run it back there. It's not paying attention. Right. Go ahead. Okay. And continuing on, uh, 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 Jeremiah 31 and 33, it says, This shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shemah, Shai, I will put my law to their inward parts. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
dummies. Well, that's why that's why they they resort to childish uh, antics mm -hmm. because once they they figure out that they can't compete with us in the Bible, here comes the slander. Oh yeah, gotta be go bad, gotta be go bad. Yeah, start making personal remarks. Yeah. You know, they're slander. a hate group. They're a hate yeah, group. You know, lies. They hate white people. They hate their own people. They say two thirds. They hate two thirds, man. They just like they, they just like they just like it. You know, uh, when Tyson was fighting Holyfield, mm -hmm. he figured out he couldn't win. He started getting his ass. What he did, he bit his ear. He yeah, started, he, he gotta get desperate. Throwing chicken get shots, man. Hey, get desperate. Coming to my Holyfield, he start looking like chicken tenders to him and shit, man. <laughs> hey, and take him a bite. Yeah, yeah, that's why you're always trying to Bite out of crime. Take him a bite out of crime. <laughs> That way, y'all was trying to say that uh, Russell Perry uh, raised the hell like they're the devil, bro. Yeah, the Holyfield, big ass head, man. Hell, the Holyfield. Hey, man, but we gonna go ahead. We gonna get it in the New Testament, man. And it's saying the same thing, man. So I tell you, hey, the word don't change at the end of the day, right. man. Go ahead, brother. This is Hebrews chapter eight, verse seven. For if that first covenant had been faultless, mm -hmm. then should no place have been sought for the second. For mm -hmm. finding fault with them, he said, Behold. Mm -hmm. The day is come, this is Hebrews 8 and 8. Mm -hmm. It says, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh mm -hmm. when I will make a new covenant mm -hmm. with the house of Israel. A new yeah. covenant with the house of Israel. And mm -hmm. with the house of Judah. Oh, the house of Israel, house of Judah, so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, man. That's right. Once again, I didn't hear the words Christians mentioned one time. And if Yahweh Shemash, make a covenant with the nation of Israel, Hey, I think that's an upgrade right there, brother, because I ain't hear no other goddamn names mentioned right, in right. there other right. than Israel. Major upgrade. All right. <laughs> All right. Go, go, where, where, where the hell we at now? We at the goddamn bottom now. We at the bottom now. That's right. All right, due to the curse. But Yahweh Shemashah right. going to raise Israel back up, starting with the elect, man. Like, brother say rock bottom, you know what I'm saying? But Yahweh Shemashah going to raise Israel back up, starting with the elect, man. That's an upgrade right there. To be raised back up is a I mean, I mean, that's an upgrade by itself, man. That's right. You know? What the clown talking about, man? Go ahead, brother. Hebrews 8 and 9. But see, you got certain niggas, man. They love to tap dance for their fucking daddy, man. Yeah. Esau. They love to tap dance for Esau, man. Yep. I know Vocab Malone. He probably he probably gave you a big ass cookie for that nigga. For that <laughs> for, for that performance you you done did. That performance you probably got a big ass chocolate chip cookie, nigga. <laughs> Oh, clown ass nigga. Oh, that shucking and jabbing. And you know, Bo Camelon be talking shit about your dumb black ass yeah. when he ride his other uh, Edomite counterpart. Yep. He be like, that's a stupid nigga. Yep. I can't trust him. They Bo Cab gonna trust somebody, you know what I'm saying, that somebody go against their own people, man? Right. You stupid ass. J uh, Jesse Jackson. Esau Justin. Got no respect for your ass. Justin, stupid ass, man. Go ahead, brother. Hebrews 8 and 9. Not according to the covenant uh -huh. that I made with their fathers yep. in the day when I took them. By the hand to lead them uh -huh. out of the land of Egypt. Uh huh. Saying the same thing we read in yep. um, Jeremiah. Go ahead, brother. Because they continued not in my covenant. Uh huh. And I regarded them not, saith uh -huh. the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. Yahweh Shemal Shah only turned his face from Israel only a certain point of time, man. It wasn't going to be fucking forever, man. Yahweh Shemal Shah wasn't going to be mad to be angry at Israel fucking forever, right. man. What you people thought, man. Stupid ass, man. All right? Most High was going to bring Israel back to him. That would make the Most High a liar. Israel, that'd make him a liar. Stupid. Go ahead, brother. Hebrews 8 and 10. Uh huh. For this is the covenant uh -huh. that I will make with the house of Israel. Go ahead. After... We already know what the covenant means, yeah. man. He made that contract, bro. All right? And he ain't making it with no damn body else, man. Only Israel. There's 18 nations on this earth, man. Uh -huh. Yahweh Shemal Shah only dealing with one to himself, man. At the end of the day, man. Uh -huh. All right? Hey, hold that, hold that real quick. Somebody give me Isaiah 40 and 15 and jump down to verse 17, bro. Real quick, real quick, Barbara Shaw. Whoever get it first, it don't matter. Whoever get it first. All right, go ahead, huh? Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Oh, oh. Go ahead. And they <laughs> are counted to him less than nothing. Ooh. I ain't got. I, I, I don't even have to break that down, man. You ain't got to break that down. It break yourself down. That's self-explanatory. Most I say they're less than goddamn nothing, man. I'm gonna start up at 15. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Uh -huh. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. They, they are as a drop of a bucket, man. If a little drop of bucket drop out, man, you, you know what I'm saying? You gonna worry about that, man? Right. That, that's insignificant, man. At that's the end right. of the goddamn day or whatnot, man. Right. You about to go back. Put some more damn water up in the damn bucket, man. Nah, they ain't nothing, hey, right? Nah. That little drop, they ain't. Like, prime example, that little bit of water that's blinding. Yeah, yeah. Nobody worry about that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't no little bit of damn water. They ain't gonna be like, oh, stop the waterfall. Uh, that little bit of water that's uh, uh, screwing out that ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna do it now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Look at that. Even the old, hey, watch out for the old ass eating bike. They can't even drive. They're probably blind and shit. They got, got an ambulance about to have to drive on the goddamn sidewalk. Look at that shit, bro. Man, they need help the damn That's the man. They need help the damn self, bro. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Continuing on, it says, this is Hebrews 8 and 10. This is most likely. That's all right. That's what they're thinking of, man. Uh, yeah. Isaiah chapter um, 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold. He said the small dust of the balance. You on the scale, you gotta look. I just be a scale. That's what got Sarah Lee back in the goddamn day or whatnot. Right. So shit, man, I just go ahead and I have to scale up the raw material. I have to scale up the raw material to make the goddamn bread and shit. So you know what I'm saying? You sit up there and you put it, the goddamn going the ingredients in the goddamn pot. You know what I'm saying? And once I take that pot off that scale, you may have like a little bit of goddamn right. dust on that uh, remaining. But it, it don't even move a damn decimal, man. All they have to do take right. a little brush and wipe it off. It's insignificant at the end of the goddamn day. That way, y'all, by your mouth shot. Is comparing, you know what I'm saying, these heathen nations to Israel. Most High is telling you these heathen nations, you know what I'm saying, they're insignificant at the end of the day. Most I don't give a damn about these heathen nations, man. When, 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 when you got when you got Ishmael and them getting bombs or dropped on them, or, or Moab getting bombs or whatever dropped on them, or Ukraine or whatnot, man, most I don't give a fuck about them goddamn fucking heathens and shit, man. Nobody care about them. You know what I'm saying? When 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 when, when, when them, when Moab and Ammon, when them, you know there's a get, man, especially back in the day. Man, those tsunamis are hit Moab all the goddamn yeah. time, man. Man, ain't nobody was crying out for no Moab, man. It could be Moab could be down by the thousand. Nobody didn't give a fuck about no damn Moab and the thousand of them dying, nope. man. You nope. know what I'm saying? Nobody Except damn blink a fucking eye and shit, bro. Only you niggas you know? care about it. Yeah, yeah man. Be all on social media. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for someone. But 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 then but then they tell you fuck if out. anybody wanna go ahead and help out the Ukrainians or whatnot, hey, you know what I'm saying? They prepare you like, hey, 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 be prepared now. Hey, they may call you a nigga, they call you a donkey or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? But don't don't let that discourage you though. Why the fuck you wanna go in there and help them? Right. When they don't, uh, they don't like you. Obviously, they don't like your ass. Man. Yeah. All right, they, they hate your ass, man. Because some, it wasn't just all ham that was in Ukraine. Hey, man, them damn Ukrainians said, hey, you know the Ukrainian women and children gonna get there first, and the man gonna get there first. Well, really, the Ukrainian women and children gonna get on there first. Then the Ukrainian man. All right, but you damn hamites, man, we'll fuck you hamites. But you damn jakes. Hey, man, y'all niggas in the back, bro. Y'all gotta wait till the Ukrainians, they get they, they, they get the safety yeah, first, man. Yeah. So, so they show, Ukraine show you, you don't give a fuck about you goddamn niggas, man. That's then, and then, and then, two years ago, you know what I'm saying, you niggas love some Chinese food and shit. Y'all yeah. love some Chinese food and shit. Y'all love some Chinese people all day, right? Y'all go, y'all move up there to fucking China and shit, right? Man, what, 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 what more have, what more have tell y'all ass or whatnot? Nigga, nigga, get out of here, nigga! Get out of my land, nigga! Nigga, get out of here, nigga! Yeah. Hey, man, even Moab and Ammon, they have like films where they do like the black face. They have plays where they do black face, right. make mockery. Even though Moab retarded how he looked and um, Ammon how stupid they ass look about four foot nine motherfuckers and shit, make all the goddamn jokes and shit or whatever. You know, they looking like they, they, they incest babies and shit. But the point of the matter is, they show their disdain towards Israel, man. They show that they hate your ass, though. But Jake want to be loved, though. Right. Jake want to be loved by every goddamn body, man. Right, they right. want to save everybody when it's clear as what the fuck this nigga got on. But when it's clear, it's goddamn day and shit. You know what I'm saying? Other nation can't stand your yeah, motherfucking yeah, ass, man. They yeah, that's okay, what the scripture said. That what? Oh, uh, all I have a service here go into captivity, man. <laughs> right. Not just the so-called white white man, the Chinese, the Japanese, oh, the Arabs. And there are enemies according to the Bible. Psalms, Psalms the 83rd, Psalms the 83rd chapter tell you about that, man. Psalms the 83rd tell you about our enemies, man. And so we ain't supposed to give a damn about those those other nations, cause the Lord. Nah, I'm not Bro, I lose no sleep in them damn heathen getting crushed and shit, bro. Yeah, that's what's wrong with Jake. Jake don't got a ruling class mentality, man. Right. Okay, the Lord said that. You know that people are homeborn slaves. Why, yeah. why is Jacob uh, spoiled, man? That's right, that's right. Okay, instead of they uh, thinking to be superior, they, they're inferior when it comes mm -hmm. to these other nations, man. That's right. But according to the scriptures, man, we reign supreme above all these nations, That's man. right, brother. That's right, brother. And it says, um, Isaiah chapter 40, verse um, 17. All nations before him are as nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Hey, the most high double down, man. Y'all bet you much I say y'all less than nothing. 
Most I'm pretty much saying in that scripture, man, you this, y'all ain't shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. You know what most I'm saying, man? And we gonna say it in, 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 in uh, Mango Vallacular, Street Vallacular. All right? Yeah. Hey, y'all nations ain't shit to the most high. That's man. right. Most I don't give a fuck about you. Most I ain't right. gonna sleep over y'all nations. Say y'all less than nothing. Say y'all less than goddamn less nothing, than man. Nothing. Come on, man. Nothing is nothing, son. <laughs> yeah. Right? Less than nothing. And all I said, the most high, <laughs> hey, the most high double down. Right. Hey, man, only Jake talk like that, That's man. Right, only man. Jake talk like that, bro. You know? Yeah. Hey, that was, hey, you still had that in the history. You got it. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. Right. It says, For this is the covenant. That I will make with those, uh, that I will make with the house of Israel. Oh, there we go. The house of Israel, house of Israel. once again, man. Man, the house of Israel mentioned probably over a million damn times, man, in the oh, scriptures, right. bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna see the word Christian up in there, man. Still looking for that word. Still trying to see when Yahweh Shemal Shah made a pact, made a covenant, <laughs> when he gonna deliver some Christians, man. You know what I'm saying? Since, you know, being a Hebrew Israelite is a downgrade, let goddamn fucking Justin Jackass. Vocal Malone, Minion, uh, speak. Let him tell it. Go million ahead, bro. Another point. It's Minion of the Month, man. You know that? Like I say, El Pascal Ball was on, on, on point, man. That was the dumbest statement ever made to this never point. Heard. Man. I, I ain't never heard nothing stupider than that, bro. Go ahead, huh? It says, With the house of Israel, mm -hmm. after those days, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind yep. and write them in their hearts. Right. And I will be to them a God. And that's future prophecy and that's and that's about to happen. That's about yep. to take place, man. Yep. Alright, because when 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 Yahweh Shemal Shah delivered the elect, so 144,000 and one third Yahweh Shah beating them up. Hey man, Yahweh Shah, we, we ain't gonna make we ain't we ain't going to these new bodies ain't gonna make it there. That's why, you know, uh Apostle Paul said that change is gonna happen like in the twinkling, man. In the twinkling, in the twinkling, man. But I in the twinkling, man. That change is gonna happen. Y'all but your shot already got new bodies already prepared for you. I mean, when you die and you go back and you got spiritual bodies already reserved for you, those terrestrial bodies, you feel? But hey, we, hey, hey, most y'all but your gonna have those super terrestrial bodies, man. It's not gonna go off. We ain't going off no more, man. Yeah. That'd be perfect, man. Yeah, and and, and y'all but your shot only made that covenant with Israel. That, the other heathen nations not gonna have that. They still gonna be going off, man. They gotta get tired. We, we yeah. still got a goddamn fucking, you know what I'm saying? They go off, we still gonna, you know what I'm saying, have to fuck their ass up, man. Or right, depending on what they do, put, uh, they be putting the goddamn down. All right, go ahead, bro. They, they gotta get tight. They gotta get tight, man. All right. So, so, so that show you. So that show you a separation right there, man. Right. That ain't equal right there. Why you how about your mouth shine? Put his laws in all nations' right. minds and shit. And right. dealing with every goddamn body. Exactly. Bro. He's telling who he's dealing with. The house of Israel, man. All right. Not no damn body else, bro. Go ahead, bro. It says, I write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, uh -huh. and they shall be to me a people. Wow, man, the most high, man, hey, man, that's a racist statement right there, man. Uh, yep. Yahweh Shemashah say, fuck the rest of them damn heathen nations. I'm going to be a power to Israel, man. Yahweh Shemashah only acknowledge Israel at the end of the day, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? He ain't dealing with no goddamn body else, man. All right, you know? Somebody, uh, what it is, have a good Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You guys going in? You want me to read all the way down? You, you already got the point, right? That was the point. Okay, hey, hey, um, go ahead, hey, hey, hey read your, uh, read, read your, uh, what that Revelation chapter, uh, about the gates? Yeah, 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 read okay, that, read that real quick, brother. Revelation chapter 20, verse 10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem. Hey, hold that, hold that thought, Shalom, hold that, bro. One more point we're gonna bring up. All right, and we're gonna get back to that. Amos three and one. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I bought up from the land of Egypt, saying, verse two, you only. Oh, remix it. You only. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your inequities. Straight cut right there, man. Y'all but y'all say he only, he only, he only knowledge Israel, man. He said you only out of all the families of this earth. There's 18 families on this earth, man. But y'all but y'all only chose one to himself, which is the nation of Israel. That's right. All right. Go ahead and start it back up. Revelation chapter 21. I mean, Revelation. Yeah, Revelation chapter 21, verse 10. Old school right there, man. He have his ass out here, man. Like he about to go fishing or something, man. And when I'm old, Jake, I'm about to go fishing. I'm about to, I'm about to go fishing. You know? And it says, um, and he carried me away in the spirit mm -hmm. to a great and high mountain. And where are you reading from again? Uh, Revelation. Oh, Revelation, man. All right. Yeah. All right, reveal, baby. Revelation chapter 21, verse 10. Uh-huh. And he carried me away in the spirit mm -hmm. to a great and high mountain. Uh-huh. And show me that great city, holy Jerusalem, uh -oh. descending out of heaven from Yahweh. Uh-huh. 
Having the glory of Yahweh. Having the glory of Yahweh. So how that gonna be a downgrade? We're gonna seek on how that glory of Yahweh right there, bro. So how that gonna be a downgrade? All right, all right, Justin, man, you looking real stupid, man. You know, you looking dumb just like you speak, bro. You know, you speak stupid, you look stupid too. Go ahead, brother. And it says, and her light was like unto a stone mm -hmm. most precious, mm -hmm. even like a jasper mm -hmm. stone. Hey, them high, hey, them top of the line stones right there, yeah. man. All right, you know? Hey, that's how the candle gonna be far out, bro. All right, top of the top of the line to where we can't even we can't even image how the kingdom gonna be in our minds right now on this side right here man all right y'all about your say he been preparing the place over two thousand oh, over two thousand years man come on all right come on man they're gonna be far out, man like we said like esau still discovering two three hundred different other galaxies and whatnot man all right you know what i'm saying you know hey man every brother may have his own galaxy his own planet yeah man, yeah, man. all right so we could the scripture tell you Hey, each brother gonna be like a nation. Hey, one shall become a thousand. Wow. Yep. One shall become a thousand, yeah. man. Right. Sorry, wait a minute, you know. Oh, yeah, no, one no, shall no, become no. a thousand, bro. Hey, you know, bro. come on, man. And then you got room with how a shot was a carpenter, man. So imagine a place that he prepared. Come man. on, man. All this time. That's the number one carpenter on, on the damn planet. <laughs> on number one carpenter on the planet. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then you have a shot. Then you have a shot said, hey, what's going on, brother? You have a shot said, hey, man, he ain't gonna take no drink until he in the yeah. kingdom, man, with the elect of the nation of Israel, bro. Not no Christians, man. Israel. Starting with the elect, man. Get out of here, bro. We're going to exceed Just our expectations. Come on, we got, on, man. You know, thinking about the kingdom. We're going to exceed our expectations. Come, Come on, on, man. Go ahead, brother. That's right, brother. That's right. That's Revelation right. chapter 21, uh -huh. verse 11. Yeah. Having the glory of Yahweh, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, mm -hmm. even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Mm -hmm. And he had, and, and, and had a wall great and high. And it had 12 gates. Uh oh, uh oh. What the 12 gates, man? In heaven, in the kingdom. All right, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, this is the, this is the real nobility right here, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, hey, this God chosen people right here, man. Right. Hey, they, they, these are next rulers, man. All right, you know? This royalty right here. Oh, these people right. are royalty, man. We are royalty. So called right. Negroes, so called Latinos, so called Native Americans. The Hebrew Israelites are the greatest people on this fucking planet, man. We're the greatest people on this fucking planet, That's man. Right. Imagine the world without Israel in it, man. The man gonna be dull than a motherfucker, brother. Gonna be dull right. as hell, man. Oh, man. I'll tell you that. No we already tell you, we tell you how basketball was for uh, Jake uh, got up in there, man. You know? Go ahead, brother. Very a, lot, hey, a lot of the women, a lot of women are sad, man. But they, hey, with Jake, it's a difference. When, Hey, all these heathen nations, they don't like Jake to come in their country, bro. What happened? Cause these women gonna be running out, they gonna be fucking yep. after Jake, man. They gonna yep. want Jake men, bro. That's why Esau had to create goddamn laws, man. Yep. Cause Esau, his stroke game wasn't correct like Jake on, man. <laughs> he had a stroke game, man. Yeah. He, go ahead, he, he got a squirrel game. <laughs> go ahead, read like a damn squirrel and shit. Verse 12. Oh, Jackrabbit, go with Jackrabbit. Verse 12, and it says, and it had a great wall, a wall great and high, mm -hmm. And 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, uh -huh. names written thereon, uh -huh. which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Yeah. Repeat that one more time, huh? And it says, and then it had a wall great and high, mm -hmm. and it had 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, names written thereon, which are the names uh -huh. of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, man, but that's supposed to be a downgrade according to Justin, though. Hebrew Israelites, though, right? right. See how stupid this nigga sound, man? Go right. ahead, And it says, on the east, three gates, and on the north, three gates, and on the south, three gates, and on the west, three gates. Uh -huh. Three gates. Uh -huh. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them is the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Go ahead, bring that. Go ahead, bring that. Woo, bring that. Basically, that's it. Okay, and, and, and that was the point right there, man. It says the third tribe of Israel, so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American. They're going to have Judah on that gate. Benjamin going to be on that gate. Levi going to be on that gate. Right. Simeon going to be on that gate. Right. Zebulon going to be on that gate. Right. Ephraim going to be on that gate. Right. Manasseh going to be on that gate. Right. Gad going to be on that gate. Right. Ruby going to be on that gate. Right. Nephali going to be on that gate. Right. Asher going to be on that gate. Right. Issachar going to be on that gate, brother. Right. Twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, right. man. Right. All right? And with that, we pray and we hope that was edifying, all right, to the body of the hopeful elect. And with that, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rekar, Kadash.
secondly, want to give double honors to the Elves Apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And third, want to give, I want to give salutations to all the Aki that's all the hopeful elect that labor for this word and its truth and righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 shalom. Hey, shalom. shalom. shalom.